Hey, 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 what is going on? How you guys doing? What is up, everybody? Welcome, 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 and I keep saying welcome because, well, what other word can I say? I'm not used to being up this early. What can I say? You know, it's a thing. But welcome to Warp Tumblr's Dark Matter. Whoa, why is it called Dark Matter? Because we got nothing but dark people that matter. How's it going? I'm Solar Gray, the cinematic sorcerer, and I am here to show you guys a live playthrough of a role-playing game. We talk about them on Mondays, we talk about them on Tuesdays, all the other shows we're talking about doing stuff. I've given you guys advice on what to do with your players, I've given you guys advice on writing, we've talked about cultural analysis as far as um, storytelling goes, we've gone into anthropology, we've gone into science. Now, it's time that we actually play the game. So guess what, y'all? How you doing? What is up? Guess who is here with us today? We have our cast of Warp Tumblers. Dark Matter, you know, because, you know, we got a whole lot of those shows there. But we are here today with our illustrious guest. Say what's up, everybody. Woo! Hey! Hello. What do do? What it 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 do indeed. So let us start because this is a channel for all the people that are just like us. And I'm old fashioned. Oh, shut up. Get back in your cage. One of these days I'll remember to um, yeah, finish silencing my phone. Um, so since I was raised by people that were born in the 1800s in the South, I will start with introductions with ladies first. And today we have with us. Hello. My name is Shatasia Marks. All right, Miss Shatasia Marks. How you doing, Miss Marks? Going on doing down? pretty good. Pretty good. You looking forward to this? Now, you played in a game with me once before. Mm-hmm. I have. Yeah. And hopefully you had a good time, because if you didn't, this is the time to make up for it. Just don't bring any passive-aggressive stuff my way. And <laughs> um, right under her, we have... Mr. D, the man, the ma the other person that is not in our wonderful, super rich state of Southern California. We've got. Is it say what? Wait, wait. Based on how we're how we're focused here, I'm like up to the top, so I'm not underneath. Her. I can't see it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about <laughs> okay. it. I am talking about you since you're the only okay, one good, of us good, that's good, not good. in California right. other than her. Come on, man. Yeah. So I'm Victor Dangerous, <laughs> hardest working man in comics. Hello, hello. It's my first time doing it, so I'm super excited. All right. And you say hardest working man in comics. What, do you make your own paper or what's going on? Actually, I do. Yes. Managing House Productions also produces You Create Comics. It's a whole product line to help you, students, professionals, make their own books, as well as actually self-publish. Uh, these are two of my books back here that you can see on the walls, as well as some of the artwork that's around me. All right. And right below him from the audience vantage point, we've got one of our closest friends and biggest, biggest friend of the channel without whom this show wouldn't even be possible because he introduced me to most of the people. We've got Mr. Young, Mr. Nerd Soul, and Nerd Soul Light, or should I say Master Blaster since this is a sci-fi game. <laughs> what up, what up, y'all? N-E-I-D, S-E-U-L, all those places that you can find social and YouTube and all that goodness. Uh, this is going to be an interesting one. <laughs> All right, this is your first tabletop RPG. <laughs> yeah. And I, I know you're used to, you know, I know you're super, super used to um, doing the video game and all that stuff, but this is going to be a little different because the NPCs and all of the dialogue trees are in this head right here. In your this, dome piece. In, in, in my dome piece, along with, you know, <laughs> black stuff and a few other things. <laughs> And of course, I'm saving the best for mostly last because, well, um, we're still waiting on one of our players to show up. He's having some sort of a breakfast crisis of some sort. I don't know. Maybe he's trying to save his family with the power of Raisin Bran. Um, but <clears throat> um, honestly, the man that I worked very hard to get here, the professional writer, the award uh, award winning writer, DJ and a whole bunch of other things. Mr. Hannibal Taboo, how you doing, man? I'm mostly drunk, but I think I should be able to power through that. Mostly drunk? <laughs> what are you doing, man? It's like 10, 15 in the morning. 
You should be hammered. Yeah, no, I got a late start. <laughs> I, got a, I got a late start. I got a late start. Seriously, man. I mean, we're talking like pneumatic drunk. <laughs> you know? But honestly, no, you deserve to be drunk. You just got your kid through high school, man. It is done. It, it is done. You got one more yes. down. Yes. <laughs> well, it, it'd be done if the kid wasn't 16. The kid will be at home for another three years. So I'm like, work you dog. But <laughs> hey, you know what? Now's the time for junior college. It's what I did. <laughs> Be like, Indeed. oh no, hey, welcome to real. Oh no, you're not going to class today? Cool. Hey, wow, that lawn looks like it needs its lines done. Here are your scissors. Get on out there. Great. Yard you barber. Uh, <laughs> you know. I yeah. want the lines in it right here. <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm talking about. Put a about. zigzag in the back. It needs to be fresh. Come on. Yeah, so. And the um, Avengers logo for Victor's shirt right <clears> there <throat> in the back. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. So um, before we get to a little bit of shenanigans, um, I got a little bit of housekeeping to do, guys. So I want I want to thank you guys for showing up. I want to thank you guys out there for watching and tuning in. Hit us up in the chat. And since we got to do housekeeping, if you guys are new, all right, if you guys are new, got to do this every show because it's all part of the entertainment industry. Wacka wacka wacka. Um. But if you guys want to get a hold of us, send us a letter or, you know, a letter or anything like that with questions, comments, compliments, um, asking questions like, who is that rather funny man that's in that square? That ain't you. Um, that's easy. All you got to do is pull up your keyboard and type in back in the deck at gmail.com. It's B-A-C-K-I-N-T-H-E-D-E-C-K at gmail.com. You can follow us on YouTube. Just look for Big P back in the deck or silver gray um you can also find us on twitter at back in the deck facebook join our join our group deckers on the book where we talk about all of our hobby stuff and all the stuff concerning people of color women lgbtqa plus um the disabled and the fiscally disenfranchised because geeks come in all sizes shapes colors and all that stuff and of course if you like what you see like what you hear but you don't want to look at all these talking heads or our backgrounds get distracted that's fine you can just head over to soundcloud um dot com slash or sound soundcloud slash bid underscore p um dot com where you can download all of our audio files or at least all the audio files that i can put up at any given time eh, eh, hang on yeah there we go and yeah we put up um the audio files and we go through all that jazz um so that you can as a gift to us download them for free for you forever and listen to them at your leisure so like when you're cleaning and you want to hear all of us um talk about all these things boom there you go listen to us on soundcloud if you don't like that jazz and if you get more value out of what we do here than you would out of a refill of a cup of coffee at one of the places you went to on the before four times all you have to do is head right on over. And I mean I, I mean that. Head right on over to patreon.com. Ah, sorry, I always push that wrong button. At patreon.com slash BID underscore P, where for as little as one dollar a month. <clears throat> You know, all that change that falls out of your pocket when you sit down on, on the good chair when you get home. Um, $1 a month, and you can help us keep the lights on, upgrade our equipment. We've got different tiers where you get really, really cool stuff. And once you hit our royalty tier, which is ten to, or $20 a month or more, we give you a shout out and a title on every single show that we produce on YouTube and Twitch and all that stuff. Just like Her Majesty Queen, Shannon Boom Boom Lay, Her Majesty Quinn Merrill, His Majesty King Paul D. Mansfield, and of course, our ace in the hole, Jennifer Crow. So now that we are back, now that we are here, now that we have all of the jazz that we are doing. Oh man, what is up with, oh. That's the big thing. All right, cool. I have a different channel up today, and it's a whole bunch of different stuff. So, now that we got people in, 
um, we're gonna tell one quick story, one quick story concerning all the stuff that we were just talking about while we're waiting on our fourth player, because we do this hard, we do this good, and we also do it in CPT. So I want to give a super special thank you and say hello to our people right there in the chat. What is going on? Boom, boom, chicka, boom. Welcome, hate and syrup. That's right. One day you get up in the morning, you look at your roommate and you're like, do not test me today for I am full of hate and syrup. And of course, um, our number one decker, Clever Vixen. Thank you for showing up. And uh, let's get back to some of the stuff that V were doing the talkings of, which is, aha, yes, we are here. So, um, welcome out to the asteroid. Now, a uh, really funny thing. Oh, you guys switched up your positions all over again. I love how you guys do that. Um, but that's okay. That's okay. I've already got that calculated. Yeah, it's all switched up, switched up back here. And, <laughs> oh man, now we got the nerd soul. You're in two places at once, man. We gotta love the internet. It's all magical. <clears throat> but yeah, you know, speaking of 16 year old kids that are gonna be home forever, there was a great story that I heard um, about a father whose daughters were messing up in school, right? And so he's like, okay, that's cool. You're not going to school tomorrow. So he woke them up at the crack of dawn and drove them all the way out to the desert. We're talking like all the way up near Vasquez Rocks where Kirk fought the Gorn. And he dropped them off in the middle of the desert and said, okay, if you don't wanna do well in school, that's cool today. I want you to move that pile of rocks over there and I will be back in eight hours. If it's not done, somebody's getting to beat you. And he can't, he left. He came back around noon, dropped off lunch. Um, and then <clears throat> he came back at five. The girls are covered in dirt and sweat and they're crying and they're all scabbed up. And he's like, get in the car. So they got in the car, they're crying. They're like, oh, daddy, why did you make us do this? He's like, look, girls, this is the kind of work I have to do every day because I didn't go to college. So you don't have to do good in school, but if you don't, this is gonna be your life. 10 years later, one of those girls is a lawyer and the other one is a doctor. This is not, <laughs> this is not hyperbole. <laughs> You know, I don't advocate the beating of children, but I will give them natural consequences. So that that is one of the things. And I figured you guys would appreciate that particular story, especially you nerd soul light. So don't get used to, um, you know, don't start getting used to lifting up heavy rocks. So that, that's a whole thing. All right. So <clears throat> what we are going to do is we are going to get started with said game. And let me double check this real quick. Um. Ooh, yeah, that became a thing. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So, here he comes. Ah, you are finally here. All I right. Am. So, boom. All right, there we go. Hey. Put those cookies back, mother trucker. <laughs> <laughs> that, oh, that that was the breakfast tragedy. He's sitting up going, put that cookie down. God. Uh. So, all right, um, finally, I'm happy to say, boom, we have our fifth player. Our, our, yeah, our fifth player that's in. Hey, man, what is going on? Why not introduce yourself to the world as Mr. Quinn McGowan? All right. What it do? What I'm it do? It. In there are no East. real complaints. I'm just, you know, fighting with my table and fighting with my computer. But other than that, everything is good. All right, uh, could I get you to angle your camera down just a little with your computer when you get back on so that you're center frame? Yes, 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 I'm about to do that. All right, right. <clears throat> that's cool. And of course, oh, uh, a little bit higher, a little bit higher. <clears throat> there we go. See, ladies and gentlemen, although we are black and we used to have flat tops, this is not the 90s anymore, so we wanna see the whole face. First of all, first of all, I have no problem with not getting haircuts in quarantine and now looking like a 1960s civil rights activist. <laughs> not going now. to shame me <laughs> for my duty. 
I was not shaming your do. I was saying your, the frame cut off the top of your head. Sadly, we're right we're back in that bro. moment where you're needed. So let's go and do right? this. Right. <clears throat> All right. So before we get started, why not tell the audience out there um, who you guys are, who, what characters you guys are playing. We will start with Victor since you are now at the top of the page. Not a problem. So uh, my character is Yandu. Yandu, he is a, uh, from Valna. He's a cat-like species. He's a hunter. Uh, he's pretty awesome. Used to be a scholar. Now has uh, embraced the realm of war. So let's have some fun. All right. And uh, Mr. Taboo, I will get back to you when you're done chewing. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Young. Yo, what up, 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 what up? Tell us a little um, bit about your character, yeah. I am Oni, and I'm an Eldori Sentinel, and uh, Baby Sentinel just dropped a grape, I'm pretty sure, behind me. Um, <laughs> also a Skylar, uh, but I get my fisticuffs on, and I don't play. Okay, all right, all right, all right. And um, we also have um, Mr. Taboo. All right. I am playing Toussaint Miox, who is a utopian variant human. He is a specialist. He is a, kind of a, 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 a consultant to businesses that uh, do business throughout space. And he's got a number of secrets, which he's very reluctant to share with anyone. All right. Team player, I feel that coming. Ah. <laughs> well, for the record, he ain't an edgelord, so that I'm good with that so far. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. And uh, Miss Tasha. Oh, you're muted. Oh, yeah. Yeah, can't hear you. Can't hear you. spiritual yep. center of the team what? she mouths the words and we feel <laughs> what she means yeah we can understand i was just jealous that michael had already cast fine familiar i was really upset about that. right <laughs> <laughs> ah there you go nope nope still can't hear you and while she's going through a little bit of technical difficulties we'll go on to mr mcgowan come back to me <laughs> <laughs> and your character um what is what is he um you know what tell us your character's deal oh you have to come back to me I'm, oh I'm you're like come back <laughs> oh, that, you're Give like come back to me i'm like we are back you say come back not back to me i thought i only heard the back to me part right too. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm it was like oh yeah, was don't like, come, oh, come back wait 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 don't call to come back don't call to come back okay but i've been here for years shortly <laughs> Return to me shortly. I'll, okay, I'll be right I shall with return to you oh, shortly. That's too funny. Too funny. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Um, and we've got a few technical problems with Tay or with Ta Tay going on. You know what? Can no. you hear me? I can hear you. I can okay. hear you fine, Mr. McGowan. My name is Kelrenor Nordstray. I am a hunter. I am a dentist. I am a media investigator. I don't have a gender, but I have purple hair and <laughs> and there we are. All right. <laughs> I'm very much learning how to do this, guys. I participated because I trust Hannibal and I trust Solar and I have no idea what I'm doing and that will probably get us all killed. Hey, but we'll die together. A, you know what I'm saying? We will die together. <laughs> together too. That's right. He has made a terrible, terrible mistake. <laughs> <laughs> right yeah and yeah of course we got a little audio things now all of these things hey vantage vantage in house yeah this is gonna be amazing all sorry, right i'm talking into the nope. chat too I'm um sorry. um tay try unplugging your headphones and plugging them back in yeah gotta love it gotta love it mm -hmm. Mm -mm. Oh, it's no, it's still nothing. Nope. Nope. Mm. Um, got nothing. I felt that though. Like I felt that raspberry sound. So yeah. <laughs> you know, that was real. Well, look, I will tell Come you what. Um, man. log off <coughs> and log back in, and that should work. Yeah, log off and log oh, back. Log up. back in. Which I don't know is this and is actually a secret level that he's put together, and we got to figure out how we're going to work together to solve it. 
Yeah. I see what you did, Solar. Yeah. I see what you did. Yeah. Going deep, layers deep. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm Game evil. master all day, every day. I see. What do you mean? I'm living my character. No, 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 no. <laughs> I do not look like Christian Bale. So, um, all right, cool. We are, um, we are back. We are in there, and that is a thing. So, yes, I'm in two screens. Yeah, there now we, we can hear hey. you. Girl. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's a. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, it's an old tech support. It's a very old tech support trick. You know. Turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and my man. All right, now Shatasia, tell us about your character. Okay, um, my character is named Roja. She's an Eldori. She's a cybermancer, and I just lost my train of thought. I'm sorry. Choo choo. <laughs> All right. Um, She's awesome. Yeah, we'll say that. And um, she's, she all play? she's mostly looking for jobs to get money for a certain reason. Let's just say that. <laughs> all right, so you keep your for the money. <laughs> yes, we've got a very open and honest gaming group today. So. <laughs> All right, now let me just adjust your uh, camera angle here real quick. Because, yeah, that is a thing. Just trying to give the audience a good thing. By the way, chat, while we're here, y'all having fun out there? Let's take a really quick look at our chat a tat tat. Um, doo -doo. Yeah, let's take a look at these guys. Uh, what is going on? out here in the chat. Ooh, ah, wrong one. Sorry, that that's swig of the canteen. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, guys, let's see. Man. <clears throat> yep, method acting. Uh lid server, nerd soul, Hayden syrup. We got a whole bunch of new people. Even uh Quinjin is here. Alright, cool. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> now while we're going on this infinite thing, if you guys um if you guys have any questions on how to contact us, just scroll down underneath the screen and there are buttons, buttons, buttons everywhere for you guys to do all that stuff. So, everybody ready? Mm -hmm. Ready. And yeah. scene. The five of your characters are on a ship. You guys have been contracted <clears throat> um, to help really just help escort um, a bunch of ore and energy and energy siphoning tools um, all the way to Dendasar. Now, <clears throat> you guys are flying through and the captain of the ship, the captain of the ship is Janella Scorp. Now she's a courageous and outspoken captain because this might be your mission, but this is sure as crap her boat. And she is not the prettiest, you know, the ship is not the prettiest. It's you're you're on a ship called the Pelican. And she's sturdy, she's reliable, even the patchwork repairs are good, and the captain is confident. She barks orders and does not appreciate disobedience. She is curt, she is straight to the point, because she got things to do. Reminds me of one of our players here. <laughs> um, <laughs> So, um, so far I've got, uh, Mr. McGowan's character. If you guys could change your titles to the names of your characters, I would appreciate that. Um, and we've got you on piloting duty, <laughs> Mr. McGowan. All right. All right. And, okay. um, so yeah, so you guys are on the ships and my two gunners, um, so far you guys are walking around doing <clears throat> sort of odd jobs and checking on stations since when you're not in combat you need something else to do because you don't just get to sit in the gunnery seat oh well thank you thank you so much I think we just got a new subscriber or something it's a thing yep 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 and oh again emotes thank you Vixen so um there we go Oni Yondo Roja, 
Okay. Oh, it, I, I got you. I got you. Um, let me just uh, change. Oh, rename. What was the name of your character one more time? To sort me out. Let me pull that up. Uh, spell it real quick. T O U S S A I N T. Last name N I O C T. Okay. You're awesome for already having a last name. I got to earn mine. All right. Uh huh. Uh huh. I have a particular set of skills. Okay. <laughs> Who will be found. And Mr. McGowan, what was the name of your character again? Shash Rashma. A E L R E N O R. He's got a last name. Hold on just a second. That's right. N Y S T O W R A E. I just need the first name. Cool. Okay. All right. Quick reference. That is fantastic. All right. <clears throat> so, yeah. So, you guys are around the ship. Feel free to um, interact with each other. Now we are in the role playing part. Toussaint is uh, sitting near an exit door uh, and near a window, and he's just kind of keeping an eye on everybody and uh, and kind of laying in the background. There. Okay. Due to my keen sense of smell, I'm actually doing some janitorial pieces, cleaning up some stuff because I'm being bothered by the uh, faint whiffs of uh, the the remnants of things. Okay. Remnants of remnants of things of, of gases of things. Yes, <laughs> things. <laughs> People too, okay. As cat-like folks, we got sensitivities. Okay. Uh, for me, I'm I'm literally bored because I'm a gunner. There's been no action, so I'm like, hey, I'm just chilling, feet propped up on some kind of cargo in the back. Okay. And Kelvin, I am meditating because I am counting on whatever this universe's version of Murphy's law is to happen. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Mm. And Roja? I'm trying to fiddle with my little robot that I had have with me right now. Okay. Um, well, as you guys are going. Oh, well thank you. Yeah, we gotta think. Um <clears throat> so as you guys are fiddling around on your stuff, an indicator light on the main console. Um, starts flashing and an alarm begins to buzz. Asteroids are appearing all over the viewing windows. Um, you guys can feel free to make perception checks if you guys want to look at the um, if you guys want to look at the sensor array. Okay. Uh, I'll do. I'll do stuff. I'll roll for that. Oh, okay. Uh, you said perception. Yep. I only had a twelve. That's okay. Sixteen. <clears throat> all right. That's okay. Yeah. Anybody else? I'll do it. Five. Okay. All right. But anyone else want to do a perception check? Okay. Fantastic. Well, at five perception, <coughs> um, that would that would be a one for me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Cool. 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 The ship blows up. So, um, <laughs> all right. So, um, Oni, you are, you are really, really, really engrossed on the inside of your eyelids. I <laughs> mean, you are just, you are just down. Um, Yando, however, um, is just singularly determined to get a certain stain out of a control panel. Right. Um, you're not sure what the stain is. You don't even know where it came from. <laughs> but it's got to go. This is not part of the natural paint job from any species you have ever known about. And um, Captain Stroop definitely looks humanoid. And this should not be a humanoid colored thing in any color pattern. No black light um, action. I got you. The rest of you guys, though, the rest of you guys are definitely noticing their ash we seem to be in an asteroid field. But the sensors are showing a swarm-like shape moving closer to the ship. And the swarm comes into view. And, well, how can I put this? <clears throat> robots are robots. They're robotic creatures. 
and they seem to be like spiders great big spiders um um a couple of swarms of these spiders and they hit the hull of the ship coom, coom. Mm, mm. damn it where are my gunners the captain uh the captain screams out i need while you're there could Mm -hmm. Either one of the gunners, uh, could, could you, uh, one of the gunners, I'm going to say, hey, I need you to synthesize the uh, energy injection proton, and that way you'll be able to be a little more effective as I gaslight them and give them uh, uh, an incentive to add 1d6 to one ability attack or saving throw. Ah, okay. Ooh, All right, on. cool. Yep, you're incentivizing these guys. Fantastic. <laughs> nice. All right, so um, when you're with that, um, yeah. God, yeah. Dag Nabbit, where are my gunners? You're supposed to be at your station. Mm. Ethan, get them down. Batten down everybody to the battle stations. And then you hear serious <laughs> banging against the uh, against the hull of the ship. Okay, like in a very Star Trek sort of way, or should I say? <laughs> Everybody's got to do it. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Uh, uh, uh. All right. So, um. And yeah, so I want you guys to make a quick initiative roll. Um, oh crap! Okay. Uh huh. All right. We're supposed to use a twenty <laughs> die, right? Uh, uh yep. Uh, plus okay. your dexterity bonus. I got a four. Nine. Okay. I got a nine. Now, uh, Kilmanor, you're on piloting duty. All right. All right. Um, I need you to make a piloting check which is um do you have the piloting skill in your proficiencies i don't believe you took it hmm but i could be incorrect i did not you did not take piloting that's fine i just need a d20 plus your dexterity modifier all right i'm rolling i have a six with a dexterity modifier of two okay plus two all right now <clears throat> We are all gonna <laughs> die. <laughs> <clears throat> we'll do you got... that together too. <laughs> so unfortunately, I didn't want to die together. <laughs> unfortunately, the ship takes a hit, <laughs> and uh, there's ooh yeah that's yeah that is not good. So um, ooh, now yeah. you know why I was meditating. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, so let me just double check on this big roll, big roll, big money, big prizes. All right, cool. Um, so now, yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Uh huh. Nope, 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 nope. And yep, so many notes. There we go. Um, woo, fun. Lita, Spike, my, my, my. And cool. That's what it, that's what we're looking for. Cool, cool, cool. And there we are. All right. So, <clears throat> um, I need to know your guys' initiative numbers. Initiative numbers. Yes. Yeah. Nine. Nine. Four. Hmm? Nine. Thank you. Uh-huh. Fourteen. Four. Eighteen. All right. So uh, where do you find that? I you got a roll yeah, for yeah, yeah, I forgot. 1D20 plus deck. Oh, so, 18. Oh, if plus look. deck, I'm sorry, mine is 19. Then. 19. Oh, plus your deck and uh, modify. Yeah. yeah. Uh, mine, it's, mine. it's 15. 15? I remain at nine. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. All right. Um, and, Rosia, what was yours? Mine was four plus. Give me one second. All right. While you're looking on, that up, uh, Karenor. Yes. What was your What was your initiative? Uh, All together, it is sixteen. All right. Oh, it's plus three. Um, so seven. Seven. Together. Mm -hmm. All right. Cool. Dun, boom. Dun 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 dun. And the average between that is sixteen. Cool. All right. Well. <clears throat> Gotta love combat. All right. Um, 
So, the spider swarm um, tries to hit the hull. And what are they doing? Boom, boom. 12. Okay, so. <clears throat> they also do. Alright, cool. So, <clears throat> uh, who's on ops? That would be. Yeah, alright. So, we've got one of the guys on ops, one of the members of the crew. Ah, Captain, shields are down! Yeah, duh, of course they're down. How much percent? Don't worry, uh, we, 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 it looks like, uh, we've lost about five points to the shield and to the whole stability. Okay, um, <clears throat> and then, of course, an explosion happens. Um, the sensor display, <laughs> we, we can't see a whole lot. Um, the sensor display goes down and you guys are blind in the water. Um, somebody, anybody, outside of the gunners, um, can do a mechanics check to try and to try and repair it. Who's up? Please be high. Uh, 19. Roja. I've got Yes. All right, Roja got it. Um Roja, you rolled a what? 19. 19 plus your mechanics proficiency and all that stuff? I rolled just for kicks and I got 14. Okay. I don't think I have any skills in mechanics. You don't have the or mechanics intelligence. Uh-huh. So add your die roll plus your intelligence modifier. Oh, it's one. So 20. Oh, fantastic. All right. Good sensor job, display. Yeah. Sensor Salud. display goes back online. All right. So now comes the fun part. Gunners. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. All right. One of, uh, Victor's got initiative. Uh, um, so he's got inspiration. I'm sorry. Gaslighter. Whatever the heck I told him. What yeah, do you think? He's got yeah, you gaslit him. Um, that was, yeah, that was incentivizing. All right. <laughs> sure. All right. So, Victor, that means you get 1d5 or 1d6 um, in addition to your d20 roll. Okay. All right. All right. So, I've got. You can 16. use it anytime for the next 10 minutes. You got 10 minutes. You don't have to use it right away, but you can use it anytime for the next 10 minutes. Okay. And a round is six seconds long. <laughs> gotcha. But you cannot use it for damage. Okay. So my roll was 16. What? All right. That's cool. There we go. All right. Cool, cool. And, um, <clears throat> all right. So the ships, uh, the ship's guns do, um, 1D, 1D6, um, 1D6 plus your, um, dex modifier. So go ahead and roll a six-sided die and add your dexterity modifier to it. Excited, you said? Mm-hmm. It was only a one. So uh, one plus my dex modifier is plus one, so that's two. Okay, thank you. All right. So um, next, um, other gu secondary gunner. <laughs> yeah. Yes. All right, make a roll to hit. <laughs> see, roll a nine. You rolled a nine? Uh, yeah, plus which one? Your dexterity modifier. Uh, so plus one, so I got ten. And are you, um, do you have the gunnery skill? The gunnery proficiency? I don't believe you do. No, I don't think I have that one. Okay, that's easy enough. So, um, so it was a no. ten total? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> and unfortunately, it goes wide. Round two. Um, so... Do, 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 do. All right. And <clears throat> the swarm of spiders or the swarm of space robot spiders are trying to get in there. Oh my God. Do, 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 do. And um, they're not quite doing anything major except boom. Uh, Captain. <laughs> Captain, what? Uh, guidance system malfunction. Um, Kilnor, make a piloting check. <laughs> Piloting check. Yes. Old. That's a D twenty plus your um de um plus your dex modifier. Again. All right. Thirteen and my dexterity modifier is plus two. So okay, that's... you good. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> that's uh one and one. All right, cool. Now, um do 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 
Let's see. Now, unfortunately, oh, oh, guidance system is down. We need somebody that's good with computers to fix this thing. Who's up? 18. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Now you're good. good. Operation. Good <laughs> All right. All right. Oh, that's computer skills is wisdom plus the dexterity, right? Huh? The the computer skills would be wisdom plus the uh, modifier. I mean, uh, that would be yeah, computer plus the modifier, which is an intelligence role. That's an intelligence. Uh huh. So it would be nineteen. Okay. My intelligence plus one. Well, yeah, Rose just got that one. Um. Okay, and um, as um, as the spiders are still trying to come in, um, we need the gunners back. Do it. Yes. This is another round, right? Yes. So new I'm going to look yeah, at gonna... Michael said, and I'm going to say, I'm going to say, what you need to do is you need to triple check that you reverse the polarity on the neutron flow and <laughs> gaslight him with one d six. All right. <laughs> well done. Well done. Oh, what, 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 what? Mine is only three. Okay. I'm back. All right. <laughs> and you were doing that to Oni, right? Right, Tucson. Yes, sir. All right. Yeah, you're telling Oni. All right. Yeah. Reverse the polarity. Uh, reverse the polarity and roll the tachyons to the deflector dish. Go. <laughs> All right. So I'm rolling a d20 and a d6. If you want to use the d6, you can use it for the next ten minutes, and each round is six seconds long. I'm gonna do it then. <laughs> All, right, All right. Let's see. What now? Give me the chop up. My d20 is only one. So uh, pressure me, man. What do I add the one to? Yeah, don't use the don't use the inspiration. Don't, don't use the don't, yeah, the yeah, don't right. use your gaslighting. <laughs> um, all right, hey, it's all killing right. me right now. Yeah, killing me in these streets. That was okay. a, that was a bad roll. All right, that was a critical Damn. failure. So yeah, that was a real um, weak roll. <laughs> all right, so <laughs> you're still groggy from wake from waking up. So it starts off as a jam in the system and as you're trying to beat the freaking console going sparks start flying um so now your gunnery controls are frozen and it's going to require a mechanics uh, roll <laughs> it's, it's going to require a mechanics roll to fix um, all right cool D20, you've got right? two folks that are available or you can try it yourself but you would have to wait until the next round could i assist him if he's going to try to fix it um, he's done his action, but you have an action this turn. So you can try and fix it if you want. I have a 13. Okay, I'll give it. Uh, if you use the, if you use your action now, Roja, if something else happens this round, that's it. Ooh, but yeah. uh, she's smarter kinda, than me, so I'll have her hold it. I'll, 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 I'll go, I'll go try to fix my gun. Let me okay. See. I, oh, shoot, okay. I got, I got a 10. A ten? I got a ten, so plus yeah. your plus your um mechanics That's modifier. One D twenty plus one. Ooh. One D twenty plus one is what I got. Okay, yeah. so you got a ten. All right. Um all right, cool. <laughs> um so or yeah, is it? You, you're definitely having a problem um fixing this thing. Um maybe next time. What did you do? <laughs> all right. <laughs> Not my fault. And as um, you did that and you scream, <laughs> what did you do? Um, another thing pops out and one of the technicians are just messed up. Like, <laughs> ah! one of the coolant lines bursted. Man, the coolant burn. Yeah, uh, the coolant line in the main deck breaks. And oh, that's going to take man. a 14 mechanics check to fix. I got a seven. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> All right. We are hurting right now. We are hurting. <laughs> All right. And <laughs> top of the round. Um, um, Kelnor, give me a piloting check. Piloting check. Let me roll. Come on now. We got an 11. And what do I need to put? What? Which Which modifier would I be adding to that? Uh, your dex. Okay, dex. So that's a, a 13. 13. Sweet. And um, the mechanical spiders... They're trying to puncture the hole, but for some reason they just can't get in there. They're just like, ur, 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 they don't ur, ur. have the power. <laughs> they do Come not on. have the power. All right. Um, and the captain is like, ah, oh, damn it! I need more technicians. I knew I should have hired more people. All right. And she starts typing away at the ter at her terminal. 
Um, damage report. Uh, we're we're going through some stuff, Captain. This is not cool. Um, and um, gunners. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna look at Mike's already got one, so this round I'm gonna bonus action to uh, uh, the other gunner. I'll be like, you need to make sure you center the reticle on it. That's what you need to do. Incentivize. All right. All right. That gives you an additional D6 tool roll for the next ten minutes. I'm gonna use mine. Okay. I got a nine for the first one for the D6. Absolutely. Is six. Uh, let's plus, see. So, plus your dexterity modifier. Plus my dexterity is plus one. Okay, go ahead and roll so, a D6. Mine was six. Yeah, roll an addition. Now roll a D6 for damage. Wait, and wait, add so your the, dexterity modifier to it. So the 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 twenty die that I rolled was a nine. Uh huh. D6 was six. Correct. Okay, and, and I now do I need another to six. Roll, yes, an additional oh. D6, and add your dexterity modifier to that. Got you. And that was just a one plus one is two. Okay. So, um, yeah, you hit this spider square in the thorax. Yeah, I did. Huh? <laughs> yeah, you hit the thing square in the thorax. It's, um... And you knock it off the hull of the ship, and then a web line comes out of the oh, uh, of the back it. of it, and it latches right back onto the ship. Secondary uh... gunner. <laughs> Remember, okay. you got incentive. You, you have incentives, you but your console is still broken. <laughs> oh, right. Well, you could, but he can use that uh, six on a, on a check if he's trying to fix Yes, it. he can. All right, cool, cool. So I'm going to try to fix it. All right. That's uh, going to be a mechanics check? Yes. Uh, let's see, let's roll. All right, so the 20, the uh -huh. 20 die, I got, or, uh, yeah, I got, oh, I got a 19. All right. Nice. Oh, you are you guys. <laughs> So I you got 19 plus, uh, you don't have to roll the additional yeah, D6 yeah. if you don't want to. You can hold on to it for the next round. All right, cool. Yeah. That's the, be and, that's yeah, the best I got, part. So I got the 19. System. All right, cool. So mm -hmm. your action, you fixed, uh, you fixed your terminal. Yeah. Fantastic. Unfortunately, <laughs> you guys can tell that the oxygen is getting kind of low in here and it's really hard to stay uh -oh. lightheaded. I want everybody to make uh -oh. a constitution check or a survival oh, check crap. if you have. Uh -oh. Yeah, survival. Check, yeah. And if you don't have survival, just add your constitution modifier. And what do we roll for this one, or do we roll for this at all? Yeah, uh, roll a d20. Cool, cool. I got a two. I got a one. I got a three. I got a, I got a, I got an eight. Okay. What, we, what modifier are we in? Constitution. Well, and that's we only add constitution if we don't have survival. Correct. Right? Okay. So my you rule have is survival. A 12. You're a hunter. Yeah, I was gonna say I have I have twelve plus five. Okay. Uh kill oh. we use the score too? Huh? We, the, the bonus skills? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, like we said, ladies and gentlemen, a lot of these players are playing for the first time, and I wanted to show so you guys. This. It's the score plus your roll plus the modifier. No, <laughs> just no, no. the roll yeah. plus the modifier. Right. All right. Cool. Cool. Then we the get. score determines we what get. the modifier will be. Plus four. Right. Uh, where, where, where. Yeah. So gotcha. then we good. I'm still eight. Okay. It's eight for me. Eight total. I got a four. Okay, and we're uh, all gonna die. Kelrenor. We'll do that together too. What? <laughs> did you make your constitution check? I did make my constitution check. My constitution. Hey little niece. Hey, how you doing? I'm talking to my niece on another screen. Uh -huh. Oh, I'm I'm on a ship right now doing the constitution check. We're all gonna die, but it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Bill of Rights thing now. It's not just a constitution. <laughs> <laughs> and what did you get? Oh man, it's crazy. My constitution check comes in at eight. At eight? Okay. Am I the only person that's surviving this move right now? <laughs> All right. Yeah. Oh, like my so. no, oh my God. Oh my God. The reason I'm having you make the constitution check is because the life support systems have been hit. So for those of you guys that did not make your constitution check, you are now all rolling at disadvantage. Oh, oh awesome. dang it. And it will require an intelligence um, computer 
check uh, to be repaired. I gotta, I gotta get really high on this. Come on, come on, you got this. Yeah, because you you're this. rolling a disadvantage. Oh, I got a ten. Wait, I've already fired huh? too much. I got a ten. Total? Plus one is eleven. Uh huh. Total. Mm -hmm. Come on now, that, that puts us over there, right? Don't you, you have a computer it? skill? L eleven. 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 Yeah, Eleven. don't you have the computer Eleven. skill? You don't have a computer. You got the computer. Come on now. Uh, <laughs> Come on now. I'm not a black cat. I'm the opposite of unlucky. Let's go. Come on. I don't. Oh, oh, that's got right. best. I don't. <laughs> you took investigations. Okay. And uh, top of the round, quick, uh, Mr. Kelrenor, make a piloting check at disadvantage. I'm going to check at disadvantage. And how am I doing that? That is roll two D20s mm -hmm. for your normal piling check, but take the low one. Okay. Uh-oh. Come on now. Come on. <laughs> the low one. Spirit roll fingers. the dice, baby. Spirit <laughs> fingers. The low one is six. Six ah! plus your dex modifier. Okay. All right. And His modifier wow. is 80. Great. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 70. And um the spiders um literally make it through the hull as the hull gets hit with um gets hit with one of the asteroids. Oh. Did what? we get lucky enough that the asteroid killed a spider? Like just one spider. Can we at least get that? Have we been lucky at all today? Actually, yes. <clears throat> um when it broke through um, the asteroid crashes into the spider, uh, into the spider drone, squishing it and rupturing the hull in the process. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Does this, well, at least the spider drone into the cabin. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. Um, all right. Um, we need, all right. Um, it's going to take a computer check, um, to seal off that particular area. Okay, bye-bye. Come on now, come on now. Okay. Okay, that's good. Um, I got an 18 and a 15. All right, yeah, the area is sealed off uh, successfully. So Ooh. no more, <laughs> so don't have to worry about decompression in that. Us. All right, uh, where are my gunners? Okay. Right here, let's go. Let's go. Let's do Gunner. This. Shite. Uh, I got a three plus one. Spo. Okay. That's the cat's ball right there. All right. Hey. Remember, you're rolling at disadvantage. Oh, I am? Yeah. Everyone except Yando. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, I rolled a 12, but I forgot what I'm adding it to right now. Um, And roll a second d20 as well. Yeah, and you got to take the <laughs> okay, lowest okay. one. And you have to take the uh, lower one of the two. Where then the lowest is eleven. All right, because yeah, the okay. other one was nineteen. Dang, yeah, Man, can't have yeah. nothing in these streets. <laughs> Skyways and byways, we don't bro. We're in space. Right, right. <laughs> hey, sorry to tell you, space is nothing but death and disease wrapped in darkness and silence. I'm a coy. I'm your poet. This is the <laughs> nicest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and uh, roll a d6 and add your dexterity modifier to um, to that number. All right, d6 is three. And your dexterity so, modifier? One, so I got four. All right, and that shoots the spider off of the ship. And again, you see the um, thwip coming from the back of its um from the back of no backs no backs oh yeah yeah sorry yeah, back. shoot him in the butt and right. he's coming back and now. aim for the butthole that's it that's it <laughs> that's a different game we're not playing that game whoa 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 <laughs> all right how and... early is it on a sunday <laughs> okay unfortunately all um, rise unfortunately <laughs> <laughs> um the big asteroid is coming in. He said big asteroid. Oh, and uh, Kelrenor, yeah. um, you have one chance. <laughs> one, 
one chance at this, chance and you're rolling at disadvantage. I need you to make a piloting check. Before, be, before he does, <laughs> before he does, before Mom's he does, spaghetti. I tell him the be, b before he rolls a piloting check. I say the vector of your approach is the most important thing that you need to do here. This is my last chance to do it, and I give him my last incentive. <laughs> now, what am I? Come on, now, how many sets of dice am I rolling? You are okay. You are rolling two <laughs> d20s. And taking mm -hmm. the lowest one, but since um um tell Saint Tucson. yeah Tucson since Tucson um told you that it sounds like a good idea. So if you follow his idea, you have the option of um adding a d6 to that twenty. So you would roll two d20s and a d6, and then add the six to the lowest number. And then add your dexterity bonus. Ooh. Okay. Math was fun. <laughs> it's too much math. Come on, man. You got this. Do it, man. You can do it. High hand in the dice game, baby. I believe in you. Oh, cool team. All right. Okay. Believe That's the low roll. That's the low roll. Okay, that's a good start. So, that's a good start. That's a good start. Right, cool. Now uh, I have to roll what's your a dex six. Modifier? Hang on. Yeah, now uh, roll a d6. Roll. What was what was well, the low number? What's your dex modifier? Uh, my dex modifier is plus two. So. All right. Well, that's so that's sixteen. Ooh. That's sixteen. That's a sweet sixteen. And my, right. and my uh, now four. hang on. Before you roll that d6, do you want to take that number? Or do you want to use the D6? Why not use the D6? Yeah. Because you don't know whether or not you've succeeded. I haven't told you whether or not you've succeded. It's true. It's we true. don't trust you. Keep D6. your secrets. <laughs> so it's up Man, to you. We will can't you even tell him it? Will you tell him it succeeded? Here. I want all them numbers. He'll tell us after after he uh, rolls it. <laughs> uh, you want all them numbers? All right. Roll that six. Roll that yeah, six. Yeah, because can't, we can't even shoot spider butt holes around. <laughs> right, man. You're not letting us aim it. No spider butt. <laughs> I'm, out of, I'm out of incentive. That's all the money I have here. It's a, it's a two on top of it. All right. So that comes up to an 18. Okay. Well, fantastic. Um, so here is the good news. Um, that last piloting roll, you were stuck because first the targeting system malfunctioning, but this time the navigation system went out. So you guys are coming in for a hard landing, a really hard landing. All right, when the spacecraft tilts, it's gonna swerve and, it, and it's going and you guys totally have that Star Trek thing going on right there. And of course, the asteroid is the only place that you guys can come in for a landing, but there is a small docking bay on it because future. <laughs> um, fortunately, <laughs> though, <laughs> fortunately, though, you made the piloting roll enough um, to maneuver to the dock, but the controls are rough. So you are coming in for a hard, hard landing and you slam into the docking bay and you're causing all of this craziness. Unfortunately, the space spider is still stuck onto the hull. Oh, come <clears> on. <throat> Did the oh, crash yeah. kill it? Um, um, uh, right now you're really concerned about, uh, uh, about, how can I put this? Um, yourself? <laughs> uh, no, space is a very dark place <laughs> with very little air. <laughs> mm, mm. The crash has ripped our hull, hasn't it? Hmm? We don't even have time oh, to pay attention to all the spider way. babies coming out of the thorax. Well, you're Come on, actually, man. Don't say that. No, your piloting role was good oh. enough to get you into the hangar bay. Cool. So we have atmosphere outside. Yes, there is atmosphere outside. And right. you guys... I'm getting out of the <clears throat> as fast as possible. Yeah. Um, you guys ever see heavy metal? Yes. Yeah. You what remember you when they got time? really high and tried to land the ship? Oh, my God. <laughs> It really is. Bang, clang, clang, rumble, 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 skirt! Wow. Good landing, man. <laughs> Any landing you walk is away from. Is the spider still on the hull alive? Is the spider still alive on the hull? Uh, you can't ch you can't tell with your with your sensors. The only way to find that out is to exit the ship. 
I got Can I try it. to fix fix the um fix the uh the navigation the system? Mm -hmm. Um well with all the damage that just took, you are not able to jimmy rig this with um with the skills that you have. You need a new part now. <laughs> oh okay. yeah. Okay. Can I can I ask a question? Feel free. The ore that we're transporting that we're supposed to be getting paid for, mm -hmm. is that all right? Oh, that is a well good played. question. Well played. Make an investigation check. Roll investigation okay, if you have it. And that's a D20, right? Uh-huh. All right, cool. Oh, snap. I got I a 20. Oh, nice. Nice. All right. Well, you know what? That cargo that you guys are being paid to make sure is safe, still good. Awesome. That, right, cool. That's still good. Nice. I go and investigate a... the spider. All right, <laughs> so you're exiting the hangar. That's what I was about to ask you to do. All right. <laughs> okay, here we go. Yeah, you with the with the warp core and the right. and the deflector dish. Go outside and check for the big killer robot. Right. I'll All stay right. here. So I, got, super I got a seven. Is that investigation? That's investigation, right? Um. Well, actually, first you exit the hangar bay. Um. Oh. And what's your passive perception? Uh. Your wisdom modifier plus ten. Uh, wisdom modifier is three so 13. okay but i do have perception which is oh okay which is plus five. well it's fine you only need you really okay. you really didn't need that much um okay. because that spider is still there <laughs> mother brother sister son okay okay yeah. uh, however <laughs> as the spider um when i'm here is trying to gnaw on the thing um right? you're seeing okay. in a laser thing and it starts to jump off the hull and um, turn your way. Mm -hmm. um, it takes a, a shot at station? you with Is a laser. A yeah, it, it takes a shot at you with its laser and it okay. just barely misses. And okay. from behind you, you okay. hear, right. hit the deck. What are you gonna, what are you gonna do, Yando? Uh, I'm definitely gonna hit the deck but I'm, I need to look and see who's talking to me. Um, well, <clears throat> since this hangar bay is large enough to support two small freighters, like size of the Millennium Falcon, um, there are 13 humanoids gathered near the door, and they got weapons at the ready. <laughs> okay, okay. And pistol fire just goes nuts. Just boom, 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 boom. And it <laughs> switches <laughs> like... Um, it Swiss cheeses this spider. <laughs> yes. Wow. Nice, nice. But nice. you know, there's nice. thirteen of them. Yeah, yeah. And they're yeah. all just thwap, rap, 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 rap. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, seriously. All right, okay. this is good news. I, I, I see. I can I see any of this happening from inside the ship? Um, from inside the ship, no. You're definitely hearing. I, do I hear the gunfire. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You can okay. definitely hear okay. the gunfire. Okay. All right, so we all hear In the gunfire, case, right? I'm going out there. I'm going out there. I'm going to talk to people. All right. Excellent. Excellent. I'll go right. outside too. Okay. Um, Oni. All right. I, I I'll I'm go. go I'll reluctantly go outside, but yeah, I'll go outside. You sure, man? Because I think you should stay there and guard the. Uh, you should guard the <laughs> ore. Yeah, because we don't know if we can trust. Yeah, we already. We, yeah, we already know that the ore is good. Don't don't get bum yeah. rushed. You know yeah, what I'm saying? We don't, we don't know. I'll, I'll, allow the, I'll allow this metagame for to right now, but for future references, you guys are in different locations. Okay. Oh yeah. So yeah I can't. Yeah, I can't yeah. holler. Yeah. This, this this conversation. I'm, I'm going out to talk. I'm going out to talk. Okay. All right. And Kelrenor, what are you doing? Other than eating at the at the controls. Oh. <laughs> I'm making sure I don't go outside in this. Okay, <laughs> no <cool>. red shirt action. <laughs> All right, Tucson. <laughs> I'm also. Uh, I'm going out. Greeting, greeting. I am a representative of the Altai Corporation. Who would be very, very grateful if you could help us and make sure that this ore is delivered safely. I'm sure that we can work out some kind of an agreement. Uh yeah, I want a persuasion check on that one. <laughs> persuasion. Got it. Uh. He rolled a 20. No, 
Hell of a second. Persuasion is my charisma modifier, right? Correct. And the and I know you took persuasion on your character sheet, so you would add your proficiency bonus as well. All right. So I think if I'm reading this sheet properly, that's a plus five if I'm reading it properly. That is correct. Is that right? Okay. All right. Then I'm going to hit this 20. I rolled a 17 plus five. That'll oh, be a geez. 23. Deuce. Mm. Oh, no, no, 22. 22. 22. 22. 22. Really? Nice. That's what I right. do to this business. That's what I do to this <laughs> And so they're sitting up there and they're like, all right. So, wait. Which corporation did you say you were with? The Altai Corporation. Altai. Yes, Stand sir. down, men. Stand down. And... Wonderful. Thank you for your support. <laughs> and yeah, this looks like a scorched earth human. Um... <clears throat> walks up to you uh lita um yeah my expeditionary team and i were sent to investigate this energy signature originating from this asteroid and then y'all crashed into are you it. okay are you okay is there any support we could offer to you because we, we don't we may not have much right now but anything we could do to help you we would be happy to do you know that's a really funny offer considering we just saved your asses from <laughs> from that uh century kanazi but it's only polite. I appreciate that. And um, with it's only polite. This is where I'm going to have to call a break onto the game. And I want to thank you guys um, for being here and showing up. And all right. Thank you, everybody. I hope you guys are having fun. We're going to take a quick. Well, you know, I'm saying all of this stuff and. Okay, there we go. This is for editing purposes because I am that kind of guy. But we are taking a quick break um, just so people can go to the bathroom and get some food. And we're going to be back in like two minutes. All right. You guys feel free to stick around. Think about this like a commercial break because this is where the players get to talk. And we actually get to crack jokes and talk about whether or not we're having fun. So we will be back in just a couple of minutes. All right, y'all. Thank you very much. Oh my God, this is amazing. All right. Yeah, so I'm going so to get back in the house. But, huh? Uh, right. So, her tech skills are what saved our butt. <laughs> saved us completely. <laughs> like, for real, for real. Oh my God, I think you guys are having Ooh. fun. Yes, we are. So, yeah. However, yeah. I knew the second that we had to talk to somebody, I was like, I got this. You <laughs> got this. That's me, baby. Yeah. Question. Yes. Um, and maybe I should be asking this during the game, but are we on comms? Hmm? Mm. Since, ah. since we're all on the ship, are we on comms? And if we're on comms, you haven't needed to be, be on comms because the ship is only about the size of the Millennium Falcon, yo. Hang on. All right, cool. Oh, so, yeah. for someone no who watches tons of spy TV, oh, no, it's no, always no. like, it's like, no, honestly, that is that is a very, very, very astute question, bro. And the thing is, you guys didn't need to be on comms in the ship. But now that we're outside. Good point, good point. Because you didn't need, do we you have didn't the, need it on the do ship. Do we have right the stuff there. to be on comms? Yeah, do ah. we have comms earbuds? Well, that is a question for the captain, isn't it? <laughs> Uh, cat? He's mostly been yelling, so okay, let's see. Hey. Great, great. Hey, hey, you were a little mister. Look at me, look at me. I'm the captain now. I'm the captain. I'm like, nah, yeah. I mean, this well, might be well, your mission. You wouldn't want to walk, walking out there rolling at 17. That would be Exactly, exactly. <laughs> with the deuce, deuce, truth. Let's go. Shoot. You know what, what I'm saying? People. You know what I'm saying? Now, see, now you guys are starting to understand. Now, do you guys understand why I want to take this to community centers in the hood this and fun. in the patio and stuff? This is fun. Yeah, this is. A lot of, lot of, lot of just interest While I'm here, here. Yes. While I'm here, just for my kicks, because we didn't get into this. What does the captain look like? Oh, the captain. No. <laughs> um, let me check my notes here real quick. He about to go straight Kirk on her. I can see her. Right. Like, what she look her. like, though? She's Spice <laughs> Adam style. He about to be... Go to the window like... like what's hey, you see this sir, charisma, I've girl? A, you see this? Sir, I've got a case. I am a Lando. I will not be misaligned as a Kirk, sir. 
I will not. My bad. My bad. My bad. <laughs> men, men, women, robots. It does not make a difference to me. We will figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> You know, that was always one of my things about sci-fi. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, that was always one of my things about sci-fi. Like, why is it so heteronormative when there are aliens and other out there? Right? Oh, my really? gosh. Donald Glover, Donald, both Donald Glover and Billy D said that Lando was pansexual. Both yeah. of them said so. Yep. Hey, so is Captain oh, Jack the last two? Oh, this is dope. What? What's, that, what's that line from Aliens? It don't matter when it's Aquilian or whatever. Like, that was a dude, though. It don't matter, though. You know what I'm saying? Okay, dude. so for the record, she's a scorched earth human. So okay. she's rather fit, and she seems she kind of rugged. Oh. So, oh, like, oh, imagine Gamora if she wasn't a comic book character. Okay. Okay. You're not. No, you're still a little work. vague with her brother because there's a lot of. There's still still vague. I mean, she can still be all right. Yeah, I mean, you I know, think Michael's looking for measurements. Michael's looking for measurements. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, she's fit. Don't get me wrong. But like, think about, think about any of the women under sixty that were in Mad Max Fury Road. I mean, even if they was over but sixty, but not Megan Gale. Oh. Okay, she's not okay. bait. <laughs> she's one of the other ones. Okay. All right. Mm, okay. All right. Right. So All yeah. Right. <laughs> All right. Mm. Not so, Gilbert. Right. So chat. Tucson's still like, who runs Barter Town? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just. Do y'all want to get this business done or not? Hey, hey, hey. He's about getting the business. Okay. <laughs> the business. <laughs> All right. That's right. And bye. Four. Hey, all right. And hey, what's going on, everyone? So we are picking up our last episode, ended with them landing on an asteroid, and one of our players taking it upon himself to be the face while somebody else was in the back, not exactly wanting to get on the plane until they gave him some poison milk. Extra bonus points if you get that reference and you're Mr. under- VA Baracus. Uh, and you're, oh, well, thanks, yeah. Well, you know, you just, thanks for killing it for the people that are watching. That's <laughs> fantastic. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we're back. Yes, I love right. it. Ironically, me, fools. I hate it when a plan comes together. Ironically, I do. <laughs> Pity yeah. me, fools. So, so um, let us continue with our adventure as they go on to the asteroid and they meet Lita. All right, so, um, yeah, she, she's sitting up there saying, yeah, our expedition um, picked up some strange energy signatures here. So we came out to investigate it and uh, you guys crashed into it. Yeah. Sorry about that. We were attacked by giant space spiders shooting lasers and stuff out of their butts. Yes. That kind of day, you know. Well, that's interesting. But I really appreciate As I said, uh, what I want to do is the Altai Corporation is very interested in making sure you will be properly compensated for your assistance for us. Oh. So I just want to let you know how much we appreciate that. Compensation. I like that word. <laughs> I thought you would. Um, unfortunately, um, <clears throat> those spiders that we blasted off your ship we've been fighting smaller versions of them for a little while oh. my team sorry, entered the, so this my, is not well my yeah, team entered the this tunnels is not a very clear it's not a very clear area of space you're saying yeah my team entered the tunnels and uh yeah how can i put this um we were attacked by those things those things that also attacked your ship hmm so have um, you experienced any losses well most of my team is injured um one of my one of my people lost an arm oh i'm, I'm very sorry to hear that but luckily the altai corporation has access to a wonderful wonderful medical facilities if we can all get the heck out of here i was about to now, ask are they here now so we, let's see what we can do to see how both of us can get this business accomplished does that seem fair I'm sure we can figure something out on that. Wonderful. I love that. <clears throat> so Perhaps, uh, <clears throat> maybe maybe we'll have a meal of some sort. I don't know. Maybe we'll go go, go, go grab a bite. Another time. <laughs> I, I don't drink a lot of coffee. Right now. 
Yeah, another time maybe. Right. I don't drink a lot of coffee. I but, understand. Um, however, cage reference. There is um, there's an energy creature that we're trying to understand. Um, we have to continue our mission because you know money is money, <laughs> and them cubals aren't gonna make themselves. <clears throat> so uh, if you. If uh, you guys help us out, we might even be able to cut you in on some of the profit. By the way, you know where uh, the name is Captain is located. Um, well, we entered the tunnel, but yeah, again, if it's our sensors are telling us that it's somewhere on this asteroid. By the way, well, you Myers, know what I, you, hmm? Captain Lita Myers. My name is Toussaint Nia of the Altai Corporation, and I appreciate your support. Our captain is still on the ship dealing with some technical issues, but I believe you may be in luck because at least one of our number is a hunter. And really? they may have some abilities that would be helpful for your uh, efforts here. If you have some mechanical assistance to, for us, maybe some form of exchange of services could be reached therein. Well, we may actually have some extra parts laying around, depending on what you guys need. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, we're, we're working for the conclave. So if we can figure out this energy signature or creature or something, you know what it's like out there. We got those freaking Bellare, you know, I don't yeah, even know how you time. classify them. I mean, they're, it's, it's, you know, they're essentially, they're, they're essentially electricity or copper tops or something. Uh, but surprisingly tender. <laughs> it's a long story. I bet. <laughs> What's the amount you guys are getting paid to do this? Uh, that's classified, and you are? Roger. I'm ah. a techie. Oh, okay. Well, techie, um, um, that actually might come in handy. But do you guys have a medic of some sort? <laughs> Excuse me for interrupting. That but... would help. We probably should move this conversation indoors. We're currently rather exposed as a hunter. I can't help but look around and see all the different entry points of attack. Okay. <clears throat> so. Fair enough. All right. Um, well, we might actually be able to, um, we might actually be able to help you guys out with some spare parts, as I said. Um, now, when you guys are into the, um, when you guys are looking through, hang on, um, you guys are looking around and the hangar bay is huge. And I mean huge. It, it, it's a big hangar bay. <laughs> hang on. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's a really big hangar bay. And, um, you know, their ship is actually there. And the upside y'all did not um damage the ship <clears throat> when you guys crashed in so that actually might be good job pilot yeah that might actually be a good thing thank, thank, thank you so um hang on i need to find my map here how many of Two us are seconds. outside the ship huh three how many of us are outside the ship there are three of us Thing. All right. Um, I'm going to recommend uh, that our wonderfully skilled technical uh, uh, friend here, please communicate with the captain that we have reached an agreement with these fine, fine people and that we're trying to figure out something to do. The hunter and I will follow them and then the rest of the party can either stay with the ship or follow us in, in a few moments. So we can make sure we use the most expeditious use of our time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that sound fair? All right. Sounds fair. But um, I'm a, mm, I don't think I don't think you should have made a deal with these people because we don't know these people. I mean, it did save our butts, but still, we don't know these people. Uh, the captain should have talked to them first. I'm gonna lean in close to her. I'm gonna be like, I'm not gonna mess with your keyboard. You don't mess with my job. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I was right. so expecting an I'm the captain now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saving that for the actual captain. I'm saving... <laughs> Look at me. 
Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. You're still the captain for now. <laughs> you are. I don't want the job. It's too much responsibility. <laughs> okay. And the paperwork. But what I would like to do is maybe look at some coffee. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So are you guys going to be entering the... Um, are you guys going to be entering the... Entering the tunnels with these people? If they have a meeting place, a, a place where they've bivouacked temporarily, I think that might be a good place to negotiate out terms and eventually hopefully get the captain down here to talk with us as well. Okay. Um, but right now, as our hunter friend says, being this exposed does seem ill-advised. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so, um, so let me explain these tunnels real quick. <clears throat> now, they're like warm like holes okay and by that i mean it looks like they were made in by worms tunneling through and leaving a thing in their wake okay imagine an ant farm all right however they're like 30 feet in diameter and they've got smooth red rock floors but they're covered with interwoven wire and conduit and bands of metal um <clears throat> The circuitry along the walls, they hum with electricity, so there's ozone everywhere. You know, just like... Bzz, 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 bzz. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Ozone smells like a two-year-old, or sounds like a two-year-old. That, that's what it does. Bzz, 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 ah! bzz, bzz. That's right. There you go. And um, so they slowly take on a new form, though, because, like I said, the interwoven wires and band together... And the snap and buzz of electricity is like flowing through all the message. But you can definitely tell there's been a firefight here. <laughs> there has most Smell definitely it. been a firefight here. A recent firefight? Hmm? Yeah. A recent firefight? Okay. A, a very recent firefight. Oh, we lost Kelrenor. Uh-oh. Uh, probably a bathroom break. Now, um, so yeah. And... Again, Captain Lita <clears throat> is explaining, yeah, our instruments went through here, but yeah, Rabbit got hurt pretty bad. Re uh pretty bad this whole time. He's he's not doing great. You know. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, you know. At least he won't be cooking for us anymore. <laughs> I like Rabbit. Hmm? Yeah. You know, no. I give him the weirdest look, like, what are you doing? No, that's not what we meant. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Sorry. We don't we don't have that kind of humor on Valna. You'll have to forgive my hunter friend. He's not used to such civilized environments. Uh-huh. Yeah. I don't know. Most hunters I know, they're pretty much used to every environment. But anyway, um The dark gift the dark gift is different for us all. And I want you guys to make a perception check. Okay, I can do that. Let me go to the perception. 24. That's an 8. Got 12 plus 5. Wisdom, if you so have... 17. Oh, yeah, plus 5. All right, cool. Yeah. yeah. And Oni? Wait, is a, who's with us? Because I thought it was just me and the hunter while she was going back to tell the captain what was up. Right. Oh. Okay. Um... I thought the rest of you guys um, exited your um, exited the ship. I don't know. I don't know what the captain would decide because I'm just doing my part. I don't know. Okay. Um, real quick. All right. Let's uh, put a pin in that and do a meanwhile back on the ship. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, hang on real quick here because another thing happened and... There we are. At least until um until our guy gets back. There we go. And let me just fix a little bit of this. Boom. And yeah. All right. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that, Mr. Soul. Oh, that's the reason why we got the thing. Yeah. See, when one of the players logs out, ladies and gentlemen, our 
alignment goes a little weird. So just bear with us for a little bit. Um, oh. Are we chaotic neutral now? <laughs> I don't know if it's neutral. You. No, it's okay. See? But I'm back now, so there we go. Um, all right. So, um, Roja, mm -hmm. you've been like the tech head this whole time. Do you want to do a diagnosis on the ship? Yep. Okay. All right. So go ahead and make a mechanics check. Sixteen. All right. Yeah. These uh, this ship Big got numbers. busted up pretty bad. Like yeah, pretty bad. Um, what are the parts that you need? Um, you are definitely gonna need another sensor chip. Okay. To get your sensors back up. And a navigation com. You need a navigation computer. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sadly. That doesn't seem too bad. Well, you know, a nothing part means everything when you ain't got it. <laughs> True. You're going to find that. You're going to find it. I believe in this. All right. And Oni, are you staying in the ship or coming out? I'm in the ship. I still got to make sure that these guys don't try to double cross us and take the uh, the precious materials that we have as far as our cargo is concerned. Okay, um, I would like you to make an insight check. All right. Okay, that's uh, insight. All right, so I rolled a 20 and it's plus five. That's right, right? Okay. Um, yeah. yeah. Interesting thing. From the way that the crew is acting, mm -hmm. you can definitely tell that they are a little freaked out from the danger that they're in. But they might be hiding something. You're not sure what, but they ain't playing 100% on the level. All right. Hmm. And when you talk about the crew, you're talking about those guys, not our people, right? No, no, no. You know your people. All right. Then is there a way that I can contact uh, Tucson? Well, if he had a comm on before he left the ship, there would be an easy way. Now you got to do it the um, old-fashioned way. I would have grabbed one. Huh? I would have grabbed, I would have grabbed, I wouldn't just walk out of a ship without a comm. I wouldn't just do that. <laughs> Um, then in that case, if we don't, if he doesn't have, then I definitely need to tell the captain because I don't trust these guys and I don't want to take no chances because we don't know them like that. Okay. You really don't. <laughs> so, uh, I definitely, all right. Uh, can I go to the captain? Uh, yeah, you can totally go to the captain. All right, cool. Captain, I know that we have this preliminary deal going on. Everything seems cool right now. As they're down there with Toussaint and all that, we really need to look into these people because I don't trust them and they look shady. Hmm. Well. They're looking at, at our product too much. How long have you how long have you been doing missions like this? Uh about 10, 12 years. Try again. <laughs> You're level <laughs> one. Try again. <laughs> I don't know. Six months. Okay. <laughs> well, you know what? I'm going to tell you this one time, newbie. And you got to keep this to yourself, okay? Got you. You're going to be pretty good at this. Because it just so happens that they're on this asteroid that we happen to land on, and they know how to take out these spiders. I don't trust it. So this is what I got for you to do. All right. Um, we need to do inventory here to see if we can find some of these parts that uh, Rosha needs to fix the ship. But I don't think we have an extra. So you're pretty good in a fight, aren't you? Not too bad, not too bad. Yeah, yeah, that's why I hired you. So this is what I want you to do. <clears throat> so far, 
Um, we're down one com. Just one. So, I want you and Roja to take the remaining comms and go find the others and make sure that you can get them the communications device, but do not let whoever's out there see you do what you're doing. Can you handle right, that? Gotcha. Yeah, I can handle that. All right. And then the captain heads over to the comm. Ship to Tucson. Ship to Tucson. Yes, ma'am. Um, yes, ma'am. Uh, excuse me, all. I just need to step away and take this just for a moment. Yes, ma'am. How may I help you? Um, when you left, you took a communications device. That seems prudent. And you didn't give any to the other members that you brought onto my ship. <laughs> I saw certain. I'm sorry. Let me just step away a little bit. <laughs> Hi. Yes. I saw 13 guns and we have five. I did the math and I figured I had a certain skill I could use to disarm them. Should we have any problems? I was right. We're not being boarded. We're not being raided. I thought that would be a good thing. I, I do admire your initiative. Truly. I admire your initiative. I, that's the way I roll. And you can roll like that all day. <clears throat> However, when you're on my ship, all decisions go through me. Is that clear? I will do my best to comply. Well, this is the most passive been, aggressive answer. <laughs> if you've been doing well, your best is. so far, I need about three feet better than your best. Because um, if you don't do your absolute best to comply, then I may be forced to not do my absolute best to make sure airlocks are closed. Am I clear? Yes, ma'am, I do understand. And I'm sure my superiors at the Altai Corporation that subcontracted me to you would be displeased to hear of my loss. You know, the funniest part about interstellar capitalism is that everyone's expendable at some point. That's true. But what's also funny is that everybody doesn't always know why someone was sent. Why me and not someone else? When's the last time you saw a consultant? Do you think that might be a specific reason? Mm. One that perhaps the Altai Corporation did not reveal to you. I love your I'm not saying they did. I'm not saying they didn't. I'm saying that right now, you got me doing this while there's 13 guns behind me that I'm not keeping an eye on. <laughs> would you like me to would you like me to address that problem or would you like to continue having this pissing match? Oh. Well, I drank a lot of coffee would you before like to... we took off. <laughs> would you would you Either like way... to hold persuasion on this one? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you know what? Social combat does not happen a whole lot in D20 games. Let's do it. It does for me. That's literally <laughs> what I do. <laughs> he wants you to roll. Go for it. Yeah. Do it. Roll on it. Okay. What? Well, let me look about. Let me look at my board again because uh -huh. I, I don't think I ended that score. Okay. Uh, let's see. I have made the roll. Uh, Chris, and I am a fair player. Okay. I got plus five. Uh, plus five. Hang on a second. So D20 plus five. 17. All right. Um, just for the record, I'm showing everyone 17. Yeah. 19. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah. Matter of fact, because uh, I'm not that kind of player. I believe it. See? <laughs> yeah, I believe it. All right. <laughs> Hi, DC. Huh? It was a high DC. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> yeah, big bank. Right. Yeah, big bank take little bank. <laughs> and this as I said intense. at the beginning of and as I said oh, at the right? beginning of this adventure, it might be your mission, but it sure is crap her boat. Uh, <laughs> so I've sent the others to you with the income with the rest of the comms. Continue to do what you do. Just keep me in um keep me in the loop. I don't then want to let me ask you a question. Hmm? May I ask you a question, please? In that regard, you mean one after the one you just have asked? A, yes, they have a they have a need 
that may require the skills of our hunters in mm -hmm. particular, but they also believe they may have some additional repair parts uh, in terms of what we may need to get off this rock and get back to work. I Do you believe guarantee. that an exchange of services would be fair in this regard? An exchange of service would absolutely be fair if we were dealing with reasonable beings. If we're not dealing with reasonable beings, then I'm sure we'll manage to, what's the term I'm looking for? Procure the parts that we need and then some, if you do what you do. If that's the way we, we'd like to operate, I'm more than capable. I just wasn't <laughs> sure. I, I, I've been trying to resist my natural impulses to do that first. And that, <laughs> that has been appreciated. Remember our, mo remember our motto on the Pelican. We finish every job but we never start trouble. But when trouble begins, yes, it becomes our job. I do remember getting the shirt that said that when I got on board, yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, <I'm, laughs> I will continue to follow this directive as noted. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. All right. <laughs> I'm noticing Tucson's body language is, is changed. So I walk over for a quick tete-a-tete, -tete, find out what's going on. My perception is noticing something ain't right right now. <laughs> Here's the, right now, we, we all have different needs. Our group has needs and their group has needs. And we're going to try to make sure all those people have their needs fulfilled. Some of that may require your specific set of skills as a hunter, as they are looking for something. And well, you are who you are. My goal here is to make sure that all of us get out of here safely to do the job that we're trying to be paid for, if at all possible. Do Scared, you understand man. what I'm saying? That's the cat's meow. Then okay. let us proceed. Okay. Good friend, how are we? <laughs> oh yeah. And I walk um, back over to the other Wait, group. before you finish the thing, by the way, I'm going to keep the pilot um, to help with repairs and to try and customize the ship a little more for his, um for the needs that he may be showing. Wonderful. I, that has nothing, I, that should be fine and dandy because I've got a hunter right here. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to go. I walk over to my. I, oh, I apologize. No problem. I, I walk, just to segue out of my thing, I walk back over to the, the 13 guns that are out there. I say, good friend, where <laughs> were we? And I proceed to uh, have a conversation with them while we can move on to the other scene. Okay, so okay. now we're going to cut to um, Roja and Oni. <clears throat> I'm just sweating bullets because that conversation was intense. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, how long do you think we can trust these people, Roja? 20 minutes. <laughs> it's, not, it's not bad. I, I'll give them a full hour. Mm, I'd say so. Um, I'm really just worried about what's in those caves and stuff, since, you know, one of their dudes lost an arm. Understood, understood. Now, I know you got the tech skills down. You do have a piece on you, right? Like mm -hmm. I do. Oh, I show them. Okay, okay. I show them my gun. <laughs> just, just making sure, because um, I have a feeling we're going to have to shoot somebody before this is through. I'm assuming so. It probably will happen sooner or later. Probably one of those guys, too. I'm not too keen about, you know, having to kill somebody just yet, but I'll do what I have to do. Well, here's the thing. The more you do it, the better you get. God. Horrible. <laughs> wow. And cut back to <laughs> um, Tucson and Yanda. So, have I heard through comms the pieces that they need specifically? Hmm? Did the captain share that information, the, the two pieces? The that captain did for? not share that information. However, um, however, you guys aren't really that deep into, um, you guys are not that deep into um, the, the area. Okay, so they'll be okay. catching up really quickly. Okay, so, great. 
So now, while I'm here, I'm uh, I'm just trying to get an, a sense of the uh, what do you call of what's happening uh, in here. So when they, I'm 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 asking uh, the captain Lita. Uh, mm-hmm. It's interesting that I'm going to follow the leader. Uh, that uh, <laughs> I'm asking her about the incident that blew the arm of her man. Oh, you like that, Mike? You like yeah, that, that was good. That, that was good. Mike. That was good. <laughs> Hang on. Let's see when the chat when the chat comes up and they they hear that one. I'm I'm gonna let y'all know. <laughs> All right. So yeah. So you're following the leader. Uh, so yeah. Um, they walk slowly. And um, you're talking the leader. Yes, I'm. Sorry. I'm like uh, the thing that took your man, that, uh, your man's arm rather. That's of particular interest to me because I would like to plan against any of us or any of your crew having any additional mishaps in that regard. Could you tell me more about that, please? Um, well, essentially, this rock is infested. And as you guys are walking, um, Yando, I want you to make a perception check. On it. Uh, rolled a seven perception plus five so 12 12 okay yeah um you guys are going into the tunnel and sure enough as they're having this conversation you are seeing a bunch of creatures it's like um with the amount of light that's there it's kind of a seething i think seething is the word a seething mound (laughs) and you're hearing yeah you practice that just so you know yeah do you practice that huh that was that was a lot yeah just so you know i've seen this movie it's time to turn around (laughs) We can't launch the ship, Chuckles. <laughs> we are going up. Okay. So uh, somebody, it might help if somebody might mention the parts that we need so I can, you know, but anyway. So so there's this, there's these uh animalistic things in there and I can hear Again, them. A seething mound. Yes. Yeah, that's a that's a lot. I can hear them. So I'm I'm reiterating yet again that we need to take this conversation inside. Oh no, you guys are inside. This so is we're um, in a ship? Uh no, you are in the asteroid. No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. Like we need to we need to get inside one of the ships so that we can kind of guard ourselves because right now we're wide open from oh, whatever like a structure, that thing like is. A building or yeah, something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever that thing is, as well as those spider things that are still out there, we are still at risk. So we need to get inside something to kind of fortify where we're where we're going. Lita looks so, over. You are inside should... something. At the moment, you're inside an asteroid. And that yeah, energy well, signature well, is in here somewhere. This is our Perhaps job. what he's saying is, mm-hmm. perhaps what he's saying is, uh, you haven't had a chance to meet our captain, who's a, a lovely, lovely woman. You're going to love her. Uh, and perhaps uh, there might be a meeting of the mind inside a structure that has walls and guns on the outside to protect us from any untoward surprises. I believe that's what our hunter friend is saying. Is that correct, sir? That is 100% correct. Well. I smell trouble. Yeah, that's part of this life. I mean, <clears throat> how do you how do you normally fulfill your contract? You just go somewhere, park, say you didn't find the thing and go home? Uh, no, but when you lose arms, whatever is doing that is still out here. Let's be smart about what we're doing. Eh, he'll be compensated one way or another. So do you not you can, care? You can go. I care about every member of my crew. And if I forget, if I just give up, go back to my ship and wait for the bad things to go away, he lost his arm for nothing. No, you go back. Let me do what I do. You guys stay safe. But I don't need you out here interfering with my hunt. Okay, and as you're talking about your hunt, that's when Roja and Oni show up. Wonderful. Hi. Hello, good. Hello, good friends. How are you? 
how goes Does anybody hear that street? crackling sound like some nasty snarling aliens or something? Wait, crackling? We were we were trying to go ask about that, and I point in the direction of the sound that they're referring to. We were mm-hmm. trying to ask about that when we got into a little bit of a chat a chat. Oh, oh no. um, sorry, to Toussaint, you like were too, uh, Toussaint, you were too busy in the tete-a-tete to notice what the, what Yando the Hunter, um, got as far as Oni, um, what's your passive perception? Passive perception is three, or no, you said passive, uh, my passive perception is 13. Okay. So um, is mine. Mine is the same. Okay, but you were distracted in the conversation. So, uh, you, okay, um, so, um, so yeah, you were able to hear um, the chittering and um, and no, I don't practice. The, okay, I do practice it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> hey, don't judge me for what I do by myself. No, 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 no. no. It was a, it was a skill set, a skill set there that I had to acknowledge. Okay, that was definitely there. All right. And of course, um, so yeah, so continue, uh, continue. Yeah. You guys showed up and, um, anybody with a passive perception of 13 or lower who was not in a converse or 13 or higher, who was not in a conversation, um, can definitely hear the seething mound. Okay. Then in this case, I'll turn to Yondu. I mean, Yondo, sorry, (laughs) Yondu. (laughs) Just the Yandu, but right. I'll turn to Yando um, and say, look, let's be for real. Do we really have enough to handle these whatever's down there? So using my uh, dark vision, 60 feet, I can see inside this tunnel that this mass is, is big, but it seems to be moving kind of as one. And as long as it stays in a singular cluster, yes, we can definitely handle this. Do you think there might be a way to avoid these things? Because I don't want to. The longer we stay out here, spiders. No. Okay, uh, Toussaint. Yes, sir. Uh, I like to make a deception check. Ooh, my favorite. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> let me look at that sheet, which is and... over here. And uh, um, Rosia, I'd like you to make a sleight of hand check. What was that? Rosia, I want Rosia to make a sleight of hand check. Okay. Oh, that. Okay. Then let me do. uh, Oh, shoot. That's bad. Uh, Even with my plus five, that is a. Yeah, that is a 10. Um, 17. Okay. Um, So you feel. um, You feel, Toussaint? Um, sort of a little rubbing behind you, Mm -hmm. um, as though somebody's trying to, um, take something out of one of, um, out of one of your life field pockets. Okay. (laughs) I do not resist. Okay. And, um, hang on, let me check. And. Huh. Huh. And it doesn't seem like Captain Lita noticed, um, doesn't seem like she noticed you noticing that. <laughs> so, okay. Okay. All right. <clears throat> and, um, so yeah. And, um, I want you, Roja, to make, uh, two more, um, two more of those sleight of hand checks, or one more of okay. those sleight of hand checks. Okay. I'm just curious yeah. because I already had a compromise, so I'm not really sure why that happened. Yeah, but, I'm gonna but roll with it. she didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> so I got two now. Yes. <laughs> so she didn't hear the captain talking to me. That's hilarious. Okay. The captain didn't start until they left. I got a ten. <laughs> Good point. Okay, um, Yondo. This is going well. I want you to make a perception check. Ah, uh, major shout out to the king, the queen, and the ace. Actually, I think we got both kings, um, our ace in the hole, and the queen. Um, both queens, the king, and the ace in the hole um, here watching the game. Thank you, guys. You really make this possible. Awesome. My perception check, 
25. Okay. Jesus. Um, yeah. That's it. I'm seeing um, everything. I'm seeing it all. Where Ro at? Rose is trying to plant something on you, and that seething mound is made up of small creatures. Now, you recall Captain Lita <clears throat> talking about how this place was infested. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I need to, uh, I mean, first and foremost, I, I want to see what kind of seething creatures these are. Are they are they eating things down here? Because uh, my man lost an arm. I need to know, are they are, are these people that we're running into at risk of getting eaten? Not me, because I'm an apex predator. I will eat those things. <laughs> this head is like a <laughs> shot right now. You see what I'm saying? All right. Um, in that case, are you going to get closer to the mound? Oh, 100 percent I'm okay, going over to might... the hole. What? Oh, uh, I was gonna say no, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, oh, I no, want to no, go no. over well, to the hole because okay. I want to see exactly what this is. With my dark vision, uh -huh. I can see more of exactly what we're dealing with and yeah. find out if make these an investigation things are check. going to come after us. Yeah, make an investigation Try to check. set a perimeter. Yeah. But before Matter I fact, go... I will allow an investigation or a xenobiology check. Be before I go, I mm -hmm. want to tell Toussaint, Toussaint what I'm about to do. He seems to be field leading at this okay. moment. So I want to let him know I'm seeing these things. I'm 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 setting perimeter. We know that there's at least this thing right here. We need mm -hmm. to see exactly how how deep this goes. Now here's the question. Okay, then I'm are going you, to tell him an, real I'm quick. Gonna... Are you singularly obsessed with the seething mound, or are you going to check? Um, are you going to check what Rosha just planted on you? Uh, I mean, I'm going to go over there before I check because it was it was seemingly planted on me in secrecy and I need not to reach for it in okay. front of everybody else. Cool, that's what I need to know. All right, in which case, yeah, uh, roll an investigation or a xenobiology check. Toussaint, what were you up to? Uh, when he was telling me that, I was like, if you can get everyone away from me, the company gave me a means to repel attacks in mass, but it may knock down anybody standing next to me. So if you if you do hit something, I'd hustle out ahead pretty quickly because I'm probably going to trigger that because I'm paranoid. Gotcha. <laughs> so with uh, my xenobiology, I've got 16. Oh, dear God. Yeah. Wow. All right. So, yeah, it is what looks to be a swarm of greenish and reddish um, reptiles. Just... A mm. bunch of lizards about the size of pet um, pet bearded dragons. But the swarm okay. consists of about, I don't know, 60 of them. Okay, okay, okay. Um, are these things aggressive? Hmm? Based on my, my, my studies, my, my findings, I am a scholar. I do have some skills in xenobiology. Do I well, know that these things are aggressive? Well, what you can tell is like they are being aggressive. One is like biting another one by the neck and it's flinging its head and throwing it around. Yeah, but that could just be mating season stuff. Like that's that's them for them. Okay, make a xenobiology roll. Okay, let, let me do that then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, is it a lizard orgy or a lizard slug? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Uh, or is it both? Or is it both? Matter of fact, okay, so I rolled a 15 plus 4. That's 19. I'm telling y'all right now, 100%, this is a mating ritual. But the ladies do get super violent if interrupted. Do not interrupt what they got going on. You see what I'm saying? I went to a, I went well, to a party like that. I know exactly what you're saying. <laughs> now... With that role and your perception, you definitely notice that everything you said is on point, except mm -hmm. at this particular mating ritual, there does seem to be snaps, uh, snacks. And you definitely notice a few of them with uh, the mound, the, the seething mound seems to have at its base an armored forearm. Mm. So these oh. things, so these things ate my dude. Okay, took my dude's hand. So this okay. just happened. This just yeah, happened. Yeah, okay. yeah, 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 I mean, we yeah. don't know him like that. Though. I mean, <laughs> no, I mean, I'm just yeah. saying. I mean, no, 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 no. It's my dude, as they do. Yeah, that, I, I know. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. okay. I don't know the guy's I, name. I don't know his name. I won't call him how out. Much oh. is, how much? Is, how much of this do I know? 
None mm-hmm. of it yet. From the cap, from Captain Elite. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. none of it yet. I, yeah, I can see a little bit of it, arm. but none for you. Um, yeah, yeah. What you know it from really Captain Lita like is that Rabbit did lose an arm in combat. She didn't mention it was five seconds ago. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 it seems like this wouldn't have been the way to walk to have a conversation. She right. has been asking about a medic and finishing the job and not um, losing the thing in vain. You know? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. I, I guess mean, we're about to get down. Okay. Yeah. 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 No, she did not. Um, you know, she did not come to you um, saying, my guy Rabbit lost his arm 15 minutes ago by this particular thing that happened at this time. Can you help me? <clears throat> Again, she don't know you like that. Rabbits was kind of <laughs> I got you. Very insensitive, sir. Very I'm sorry. insensitive. <laughs> Etiquette is not one of my skill sets. Okay? <laughs> it's true. It, Your it charisma is like what? Yeah, a, my, a, my zero, elite. okay? <laughs> yeah. I, I speak what I speak. All right. All right, All so, right, professor. I got yeah. you. So seeing this animalistic ritual, I recognize that what happened is these people have interrupted this thing and dude lost his arm. So the question at hand is what is in that tunnel that they did not recognize what these lizard things were doing? What are y'all trying to get that you're not paying attention that these lizards, mine and they own, <laughs> And you got to reach, reach and not teach. You know what I'm saying? What you reaching for? What you reaching for? You messing up the groove. We already told you we're investigating an energy signature. And she turns her handheld, um, she turns her handheld um, sensor and shows it directly to you. <laughs> Through that tunnel. But why are you investigating are this? Because they've been paid to. Uh, but uh, why, can I help possibly solution this? Because we're, uh, according to what I'm now hearing, next to an orgy that may turn violent. Which, believe me, I, I know that story inside now. So, um, literally, is it is it possible that we could go through another tunnel that isn't having a hump fest for lizards, um, and then possibly circumvent this challenge and avoid any further limb loss? Unfortunately, probably not. But if they are in the middle of some sort of fertility ritual, it's possible. Can we just wait them out? Uh, we could wait them out. Good point. Or we could sneak past them. Nah. Were you trying good. to sneak before? Hmm? Were you trying to sneak before? Um, Were you trying to sneak previously? Unfortunately, we call him Rabbit because you know those reverse nicknames. Rabbits normally scurry away. Our rabbit don't do that. Okay. Um, that his birth uh, name on that, Earth was Leroy Jenkins. <laughs> that's that's both good and disturbing to know. Um, do are are all of us skilled at the stealthy arts in order to be able to sneak past this, or is this going to be somebody wearing large, heavy armor and clanking through and getting us all killed? As everybody stares at Oni. <laughs> 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 Um, <laughs> as someone who's able to see see also with the dark vision, a crew this big, I'd say no. I, I'd say we a crew this large trying to sneak. I ain't taking no chances. Somebody sneeze or something <laughs> to hit a little rock. No, and I'd say now maybe a team of two, three tops, but a whole what they have thirteen, 13 and we now have four. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. That's not a bad idea, says I Captain I don't trust Lita. all of them. Um, <clears throat> so I'll tell you what. If you can get us past this, I guarantee whatever parts your ship needs, we'll get it to you. How big is then, this? Tunnel? Okay. What do you mean by us? Us meaning the small team I propose? Oh, yeah. All or four you mean of you. us, everybody getting past this thing? Yeah, no, all four of you. If you guys can get to the other side of that, um, I can let some uh, I can let some of my people be a distraction to the mound, and they might chase us, get you past that, and then one of us can catch up with you guys after they come out to this bigger corridor. May I make a counter recommendation? Because I'm uh, listening. The investigating the in- energy source is the mandate of your team, mm-hmm. uh, and sending all of us who are on a different mission may not get your job done because we don't know what we're supposed to investigate. 
If instead a small team of three, two of, oh, one of our hunters and two of yours go through, and then the rest of us do this distraction play that you're talking about, then you would be able to ensure your results while making sure that uh, uh, as few uh, as few possible as possible people get uh, get hurt, I, I wouldn't trust your mission in my hands because I don't know your mission. Hey, congratulations! Can I have a side? Can I have a sidebar with Yondo? <laughs> What's up? Go ahead. I don't trust them. Captain, don't trust them. They just proposed a plan where all four of us go <laughs> and leave the ship. Straight empty with all of them able to just go in there and do whatever they want. Keep that mental note, my brother. Can I send my little robot into the into the tunnels? Maybe. Hmm? Oh, that's fantastic. Good job. Good job. Uh Good yeah, you note. would have you would have to take it out of your pack and get it activated. Okay. Is this what you're choosing do to do while they're doing all of this jabber john? Yeah, because I'm starting to get annoyed because it's just going okay. around in circles. All right, all right, cool. Could you so. mention could could you mention this to somebody though so we're able to communicate? Because I believe in open communication. <laughs> as yeah, as yeah I'll, I'll I'll do that. Um, I'll, what's your character name again, sir? Tucson. 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 I'll, I'll mention it to him and Yondu. I'm sorry. Yep. <laughs> Yondu. Okay. And. All right. Then uh, and the other, I'm sorry. And the other, one. I apologize. Oni. I'm bad with names. No, sorry. Oni. 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 Yeah. Oni. Okay. I'm. Uh, I'll mention it to all, all three of you. Because this this is going to run in circles, and I'm getting irritated. Wonderful. <laughs> Please start on that, and I'm going to mention to the captain. We have another alternative that may assist you here. Our good friend here has a tiny robot that can sneak much more effectively than us large humaniform creatures. And as you're if, saying if that, we're able to... yeah, as you're saying that, the robot, which is about the size of a Roomba, but moves about as fast as an RC car, starts going, just zoom. And- Ooh, Okay. <laughs> Open communication. <laughs> okay, and what it does is it zooms past, it beep boop beeps, and then it speeds off toward you guys and then past you guys and that seething mound of chittering and <laughs> stops and it starts chasing it like a wave mm. oh so they chase the robot yeah past oh, the... you guys oh. Hmm? oh my oh wait wait so you're telling me the robot went the way away from us towards the mound came back this way, panicked, and now is drawing all the lizards to us. Uh, yeah. You guys can make a dex check. <laughs> I didn't tell him to do that. <laughs> Remember, it's part of your character's background that we discussed. Eight, so mine is right, seven. Hey, look at my sheet. Seven well, total? Dex, dex, dex. Oh, it's plus four. All right, hang on. Yeah. Um, plus nine. Plus three, I think it's minus, minus, my dex is plus three. Yeah, I got a nine. Come on, Even though my dex is plus four. I got a 16. 16, all right. So <clears throat> as that swarm starts to move its way toward you, it, it is singularly focused on this droid. <laughs> and as you guys are trying to jump out of the way, Oni. But mine's plus three. Yeah. My Oni bad. looks at this thing like with an incoming thing and just kind of does the yeah thing out of the way. And um, the rest of you guys are doing the back, forth, back, forth, back, forth jump, um, jumping from one foot to another, but they're not attacking you. <laughs> they're just, sw they're seething past you. It's almost like. Yeah, it, it's one of those, oh God, gross, 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 but they're not biting us. Gross, gross, ah, 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 kind of thing. <laughs> okay. Um, and Roja, you get a, um, you get a transmission on your control panel for the droid. Mm -hmm. um, hypersonic shrill deployed. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
Oh. <laughs> yeah. Mm. That wasn't the plan. I'm gonna I'm gonna grab one and I'm gonna eat it. Um I want you to make an athletics check. You want me to do one? Mm-hmm. You're grabbing for one. <sighs> oh damn it. Uh, <laughs> you said athletics, so I got a five. Five? Okay, as you try to grab for one, it jumps up your arm runs up your arm across your shoulder and dives back into the pile. Dang it. Wow. I was hungry. I wanted to try that one. I missed. Kind of and Lita looks up leave. going. Not without barbecue sauce, my man. Not without see, barbecue sauce. I see, man. I see. Ooh. Cat tie barbecue. I'm probably just going to leave my, uh, my little robot away from us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, like away from us and just tell him to tell him to keep on running until until the um all the sworn are um the 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 mound are what if, um are what the if you clear. lead it out into the clearing of the hangar so that it is drawing out into space will they will they chase it into open space? That could work. Uh, I mean, we'd, we'd have to coordinate that so that everybody's in their ships so that they're, you know, <laughs> safe right. from that, from the lack of atmosphere. So. Sorry, audio drop. Sorry, 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 sorry. No, I got you. Um, so, yeah. So now, <clears throat> um, with the seating mask gone, there's a forearm covered in armor on the floor. It looks like it's got bites taken out of it. And it's leading to a four-way tunnel. I'm sorry. Yeah, it, it's at a crossroads. It's at a. T uh, it's whose arm a is this? Who's who's? Are you dude, gonna keep? Dude, do you want it? Dude, dude, dude. <laughs> not cool. No, not cool. Not I was cool. I was wondering if not they were cool. gonna use it. Nope, no, 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 no. Not cool. <laughs> not good to waste it. That's all. I'm not cool. <laughs> Just don't do not it. Cool. Wow. All right. Can I pick? Can I pick? I'm there, right? Can I oh, pick yeah. up the arm? Don't uh, pick up the arm. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, wait, 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 yeah. You can totally pick up the arm. I'm. A, I want to pick up the arm, take the armor <laughs> off, put it in my book bag or whatever, my satchel, whatever it is, because we might need to throw bait to something else that what has teeth. This is a. This. This, this is not. Give it back to them. This is not ours. <laughs> That's why I was asking. Like, <laughs> you, you, you still want this? What is wrong with you people? <laughs> you never know what what you might need some bait. We don't have. It's not our arm. Give no, it, back okay. to it them. is not. It is okay. not your right. arm. I'll leave the arm right here. So can, what Nor if I pick it, it up and give it back to the dude? And the armor. If and I pick it, pick it up. Too. Yeah, I, I give it back to the dude and say, hey, you dropped this. What? What is with you? And, <laughs> and of course, Lita, <laughs> Lita um, takes the arm, hey, hands it to one of her people, saying, <laughs> get, get that back. <laughs> get this back. <laughs> um, get it back to the ship. Get it to the med bay. <clears throat> Put it on ice or something. I don't know. Get it in some sort of suspended thing. We might be able to save Rabbit's thing. Wow. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not cool. C Captain Lita, I want to apologize. This is my first time working with these hunters, and perhaps my last. But I'm sorry for their uh, lack of decorum in regards to your man's remains. I, I did not intend for any of that to happen. I'm very sorry. Well, at least someone here has, has manners. Um, oh, God. XO. Able manners. Yes, yes, Captain. All right. What I want you to do, <laughs> what I want you to do is I want you to continue the mission. Take these two with you. I'm going to get back to the ship. Um, and I'm gonna talk with their captain, and we will. Quick question: We're all on comms now, right? Hmm. Yes. Cool. Secretly, but yeah. Cool. Well, three of you are. Wait, I'm not yet. 
But I, I thought we brought the comms to everybody, right? Oh, yeah. Well, she dipped it. She touched. She put them in my pocket, but I haven't been able to get away oh, okay. to really see what's in there. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Somebody was obsessed with a, you know, seething mound of lizard wave. I mean, um, it, was, it was information. I had to I had to find out. It's my weakness. Okay. And um, <laughs> so, yeah. So, when, um, when you guys had... Um, so... Captain Lita sends the people back and um, and she goes back and she's like, remember, um, remember the mission. OK, so um, as you as you guys are going. Um, what am I looking for? I am looking for boom. Um, oh, wait, no, no, I don't want that open. I want it here. Um, Ooh. All right, give me just a sec here. Mm -hmm. I wonder if the lizards had sex with that droid. Oh. <laughs> Only if they catch oh. up to it. Yeah, we'll keep them busy as long as possible. Oh, you say keep them busy. Oh, that's so yeah. terrible. <laughs> oh, keep so busy. Terrible. Terrible. So cute <laughs> okay. that dro the droid got stamina. All oh. right. <laughs> And the first officer uploads you guys um, a quick map to um, Ooh, a map. to where uh, to Ooh. where we are. Okay. Um, now, since we have the map, are we going to be able to maneuver around these tunnels? Or are we going to have a complete three D replication of all the tunnels, but still be lost, similar to a certain alien film that will be unnamed? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you guys won't end up lost, okay? <laughs> I was like, right. didn't they map all these tunnels? For, for the record, I was never planning to go on this tunnel. I was trying to stick with Captain Lita and get her to talk to our captain and be more in a supervisory role because <laughs> I wasn't, I, like some other people, I wasn't trying to get that far from our ship where our payload is. Emphasis on yeah. pay. Money. All right. <laughs> By the way, um, we're gonna pop in on the on the main screen for just a minute because um, I gotta say this chat, you guys, you guys are just wrong, just wrong. We've got clever vixen going, drop it, drop it, bad, bad. Rolls up newspaper. <laughs> <in the cat. laughs> you know. P man's field thirty seven twenty three cool. <laughs> is like manners. Uh, <laughs> There's established dec decorum for finding missing limbs. Right, like these are the questions. <laughs> Cause, cause On I mean, my I know planet, we're in, you I know eat we're in those. Game. I know we're in game, but if I was walking down the street and saw an arm, I'd be like, "Yo, whose arm is this?" <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm asking. <laughs> We already know whose arm it is. We literally um, covered that. Actually, no. And Oni was still point. on the ship. Oni was on the ship when oh. you were talking to the captain, so he didn't get that conversation. He didn't know. He didn't know <laughs> whose, whose arm it was. It well, was in, in any case, all I know is if I've become the voice of reason, we're all in terrible <laughs> <terrible>. <laughs> <laughs> Spoken like a true party leader. <clears throat> Okay, and um, we're going to take another break because it has been an hour. So um, oh. I want to say, all right, guys, thank you guys for tuning in. Again, we got action. We got comedy. We got all that stuff. This is all about having fun, okay? I hope you guys are enjoying watching, the, watching this as it's happening. And if you're watching this on YouTube, um, tune in next week. For the next chapter all right i want to thank everybody here and remember if anybody tells you guys that you're not welcomed at the table because of the circumstances of your birth be it race religion gender gender identity creed sexual orientation your disabilities or your budget you just tell them that we said to take those cards and put them back in the deck i'm solar gray the cinematic sorcerer and we will see you guys next week with the next episode of warp tumblers dark matter and this is another official break. I love yeah. taking those pauses for editing. <laughs> oh my god. Huh? I'm like, could we possibly communicate better? <laughs> possibly, you know, possibly. How do we see how it's supposed to work? <laughs> That's funny.
<laughs> yeah. What we're doing is not how it's supposed to work. This is, this is not, not, not how we're supposed to work. What? Okay. You guys are acting like every single superhero team that meets in the first three issues of their book. Also true. Also <laughs> Which true. means not at all yeah. well together. All right. I'm running to the restroom. I'll be here. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, when the droid came back, I was like, that's not what the droid was supposed to do. <laughs> and I was like, yo, whose arm is this? Can I just keep it? Yeah. Just By the it? way, chat, um, we're not leaving. I'm just putting all those things because we're going to be uploading this on YouTube an hour at a time. So people can watch an hour and then the next week they come back and watch another hour. And then on the next week they watch another hour, that kind of thing. Because... <laughs> Uh, no, no, it's not over. It's not over. Because, yeah, primarily it's... It ain't over. Things. Yeah, primarily it's one of these things where you watch stuff on, you know, when you're scrolling through YouTube and you're like, yeah, that's a four-hour video. No. <laughs> so, you know, we're bringing it up into bite-sized chunks. Um, so while we're taking this break, uh, you know, Oni, my Eldori Sentinel, um, tell the people that are watching where they can find them. <laughs> <laughs> you know where they can find you. You know, tell well, them about... you can find me at Nerd Soul. That's right, N E R D S O U L. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all them places. Um, pretty much hip hop and geek put it together. Uh, cover indie stuff. Cover politics stuff from the time to time. Twitter stuff. Um, this week we've covered stuff like Elijah McClain, unfortunately. Um, we covered stuff like Sean King, comedically and sort of unfortunately. Uh, but we're also covering Doom Patrol today. Um, and oh, yes, season two has begun. Yes, it has it's begun. It's so good. It's so crazy. So, um, of course it's good. It's I'll the Doom getting, Patrol. And if I'm lucky, I'll be getting into Death Metal Zombie Cop later on this week to um, try to hook something up that'll be like real fun for it. Um, but yeah, yeah, so stuff like that. Come to the channel, chill out. Oh, also in, you know, hip hop stuff like... Um, no Name versus J. Cole, Eminem versus Revolt, and all that tragic hip hop variety, if you will. Awesome. <laughs> and Mr. Taboo, what you got? Well, um, yes. now is the time to talk about your press junket. Because <laughs> you always. are always got uh, you always got something in the, in the works. Always. I I, in, I know you well the, enough to the, know that you are publishing or writing or starting like a virtual tour to promote what work. <laughs> Well, right now I'm promoting both uh, the, ser the season finale of uh, Project Wildfire Smoke in the Water, which is drawn by the illustrious Quinn McGowan, who is also on this with us. Uh, and I'm also promoting Time Core number 14 from Wonder Man Comics. I'll be do on Afrolit Sans Frontières uh, on Monday at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, uh, being interviewed on uh, inter Instagram Live. You can follow my Instagram at, at Hannibal Taboo for more information. Uh, that'll be uh, me broadcasting to a lot of different countries and, and, and talking about Pan-African and diasporic literature in that regard, uh, poetry, comics, and so on and so forth. And you can always find me on the iHeartRadio podcast, Nerdorama with Mo and Tawala, every Wednesday, on Bleeding Cool, uh, Friday, Thursdays and Fridays with uh, comic book reviews. And there's one other thing. Oh, yeah, and I just started two new web series, myself and my wife, doing Taboo Tuesdays, which is on hers, which is Michelle Taboo. And uh, I do the bipal uh, combo reviews by Wednesday morning myself as well. All right, and for you guys that didn't do not have eidetic memories and couldn't um, write all that stuff down, we are going to be posting all of those links on the Facebook group Deckers on the Book, as well as links in the YouTube description for all this stuff. Um, when I put all that stuff up there, um, mm -hmm. so yeah, that's that's going to be a big thing. And finally, um, Mr. Dandridge. Um, yes. Yeah, so now is the time to plug your stuff. <laughs> of course. Uh, you guys can find me at Vantage In House on all forms of social media. Definitely check out the amazing award winning uh, titles that I've released through my self publishing imprint, vantageinhouse.com. Uh, you can also check out You Create Comics. That's the letter U, C R E, the number eight comics, which is our uh, imprint that helps you make your own comic material from start to finish. Uh, including, you know, programming that we bring into schools to kind of showcase the 
the um, classroom benefits of bringing comic books in. Uh, on uh, Wednesdays, you can find uh, new episodes of Black, White, and Red all over the video review series that I do on comictown.tv on YouTube, where we're reviewing uh, brand new releases. Been doing that for the last few years with a local comic shop, having a great time. Uh, and sometimes you can hear me on a, a Hall of Justice podcast. I'm a co-host from time to time. And uh, lately, I've started doing some virtual panels with Wizard World Comic Con. Uh, I actually did one with the new Create Line. I did one with Max Brooks uh, and some of the cast members from Gotham. And I'll have a few more of those popping up over the summer. So definitely find me everywhere, anywhere. The hardest working man in comics, Victor Andrews, right here for you. All right, man. That is that is some stuff. I'm telling you guys. <laughs> Thank you. Again, we have been working on this show for a long time, ladies and gentlemen. And now that you see the players I got here, you understand why. <laughs> um, but yeah, because you know, all right, you guys are you guys are big. So, um, yeah. So the way uh, that stuff is working right now, um, the question is: if you guys have taken a half a sec to look at the maps. Um, uh -huh. You guys are in area 2A as it stands. Oh, sorry. You guys have been in area 2B as it stands. Oh. Not 2B. I believe. So two, yeah. Two. Um, let me double check. Let me double check. Do, do, do. We got to get to. Okay. Two, you guys two. are looking. You guys are looking. Uh, you guys are explorers. Oh, yeah. there's another one. Okay. You can push that's every brilliant. button that you can find. Um, oh, that's what I'm looking for. Into the, yeah, you guys have been in 2A. And <clears throat> right here, um, that big red mound was, that big red spot was the seething mound. Mm. Where's our ship? Hmm? Your ship. Where's our ship? Is, um, your ship is currently at the other end of this corridor where it says two part one <laughs> okay bottom left do i not have that uh map or um i put it in the i put it in the um warp tumblr stark matter chat okay i've got because i've only got three things here i've got three uh, uh things showing yeah me. no it's the map on the bottom map on the bottom Bottom left. It says two part one, but yes. like that doesn't show me the actual ship location. Oh, ah, <clears throat> oh, I see I'm what like, you're asking. Where's now. our ship? <laughs> I see what you're asking now. <laughs> you know, um, hang on, let me go back through my notes because I am that's, very that's terrible lovely, at keeping notes. Uh, wreckage, wreckage, wreckage. Um, on the far side of that hallway, yeah, on the far side of that hallway, um, uh -huh. where it says part one, that's the hangar bay. There okay. we are. All right. Um, doo -doo, doo -doo 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 because I want to see where our ship is in relation to their ship and whatnot, and, and the oh. doorway out. Um, yeah, the hangar bay just is a big open square, and your ship and their ship are about 20 feet apart. So near the back of it or I mean, because we came in pretty hot. Yeah, you guys came in pretty hot. You guys are close to the wall. That is very close. Hang on. Doo -doo, doo -doo. Yeah, um, that's very close to the corridor that you came through. So essentially, if you guys were to take that tunnel back to area um, back to part one, part mm -hmm. one, you'll see a great big essentially what adds up to a great big square hangar bay and the blast doors are down for environmental reasons and um your ship is essentially about 20 feet away from where you guys started walking into that tunnel and their feet uh, their ship is um 20 feet past yours okay okay so we almost ran into their ship huh great we almost ran into their ship. Yes. Oh. And they came out of their ship, blasted away the spiders, and you guys were walking down the hallway. Okay. Okay. So, all right, I'm just trying to get the chain of events. 
they lost their dude's arm. They went back to their ship to talk. They saw us come in. They shoot off the spider. And then they're like, all right, now we got some more people. Let's go deal with that arm thing. That okay, is exactly that's it. Un- that's unfortunate, but that's the decision they made. Okay. That, that, I have a better sense of, of what's happening now. Okay. okay. All right. Yeah. I just didn't want to give you guys the map too early. Okay. No, so, so we ready? Still. I don't know. Is Quinn back? Uh, no, Quinn isn't coming back. Um, Quinn got pulled away for family stuff. So Quinn uh, is going to be on the ship with the captain. Gotcha. Okay, because this is why I, I, I shot for this five captain, players. Lita wants to talk to the captain, and I think that's a good idea, and I want to be there for that conversation. Ah, but Lita, Lita is heading back to the heading back to her ship and leaving you guys with her XO. Okay, can I take the XO with me to talk to our captain? Uh, no, Lita's going to talk to the captain. <laughs> so, do you want to... You don't get to be there, is what, she, what, what, we're, what he's saying. Oh, is that... So it's a private conversation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, captain to captain. Okay, all right, cool. <laughs> if that's the way they want to play. All right, so I'm with the XO, then? Uh-huh, the mm-hmm. XO was with the rest of you four. All right, great. And he brought uh, two people along yeah. with him. Are we starting mm-hmm. Are we starting back in the game now? Because I'm going to start... Doing yes. Doing <laughs> all right. I'm okay. Sorry. Uh, uh, the Hang XO, on. Is he male or female? Um, before we start, I got to do the intro. You know that whole got YouTube it. hour thing. Mm-hmm. Okay, got it. All right, guys. So <clears throat> last time, uh, you guys tuned in. If you're watching this on YouTube, boom, boom, boom. We got the thing going, and when we left off, our intrepid players were left to continue to explore the tunnels for, you know, mo money and parts to get out of there because they are kind of stranded. Um, and of course, these guys um, got left by the captain, um, Captain Lita, to go talk to the captain of the Pelican. And now they're with the um, executive officer and two guards <laughs> with the officers. So um, let us continue with our players to see what wackiness and adventures these guys get into. Before I start talking, can I ask three questions about the situation that we're in? Okay, uh, question one. The, X, the, the XO, is it, uh, what is the gender, what, what appears to be the gender identity of the XO? Um, well, the XO seems, well, the, gen, uh, the XO is a dentist. Okay. So, um, blue skin, purple dreadlocks, but they're more like tentacles. Um, three extremities so there we go yeah yeah there we go yeah kind of like the quaid thing going and um it's definitely got the proportions of a human female okay so would that that would be the common pronouns i would use then yes okay the second question that you said there are two guards there are they like you know useful people like my people or are they just like goons um (laughs) it's hard for you to tell that because oh, you just met these guys. But what you can definitely tell <laughs> is right. they are used to following orders. Okay. All right. That's fine. And then uh, uh, I've already forgotten my third question, so I'm going to just start. All right. Hold on. So uh, thank, uh, 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 this has been an exciting time, I'm sure. What is your name? And I'm talking to the XO. Um, <clears throat> Sira. Sira, that's lovely. I love, and, and our friends here, what are their names? I, my name is Tusak Niaf, and this is, and I turned to our, 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 my colleague standing with me. Um, They're welcome to introduce themselves. I, I, I don't yeah. represent them. This is Ensign Jacoby, and this is, and this is Ensign Riggs. I'm Yondo. I wanted to eat your friend's arm. Oh, yeah, yeah. we I'm can tell, you. says Riggs. I'm sorry about that. We're working on that. Um, <laughs> so, uh, Roger. it seems that, we, uh, thank you, thank you. Uh, you. Actually, I was curious about that. Do you know uh, what the parts are that we're going to need for our ship? Um, navigation and a sensor. So I turned to Sarah and I said, uh, uh, your captain mentioned there might be a possibility of some parts available. Do you, do you have any idea if those are lying around on your ship? Well, honestly, I'm an ops and these guys are security. So uh, in truth, man, eh, that would be a supply question. That's fair but if our um, captain promised you that they would get you anything that you needed to get your ship going if you helped us with this, I've never known the captain to break their word. 
Indeed. That's wonderful. All right, cool. How long have you been flying with the captain? Uh, about four cycles now. Are we on a and, date or are we going to finish how, this job? Well, they're oh, having this I, I conversation. I'm going to look and see what it was that Roja gave me. Okay. Um, I, it looks I, like I'm a communication sorry, device. No way the hunters, uh, my hunter friends uh, here, well, let me correct that. One of you is uh, going to be able to stay with the ship, and one of you is going to go with uh, this party to help them with their needs, correct? Um, yes. We're with you guys. All right. <laughs> um, yes, I, 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 well, let me, let me ask my team, because they know my skills are largely ceremonial. Do you believe I would be useful with you in this? Or as you said, Yonda, would you rather not have me in your way of your hunt? I, wait, I was talking about their people, not, not our people. But you are 100% right that security forces should come with us while you guys deal with whatever, you know, uh, negotiations still have to be done. We've got stuff to clear. Yeah. Our technical friend here, I wouldn't want to risk her in the field though, unless we absolutely had to. And oh, no. as, as you've noted, most, most of my weaponry is charm based. So I may uh, <laughs> also have limitations in that regard, uh, at least before a long rest. So uh, <laughs> I believe that you guys, uh, uh, but um, Oni, did you want to stay with the ship? I can't remember. I'm, I'm going to go on and stay with the ship. Okay. Uh, then. <sighs> I tell you what, you stay with the ship and our technical friend, and I will join our friend the XO Sierra, and I will see if my skills are of any use in the field. Is that fair? Perfect. So the two uh, cool. security guys come with me. Split all right. Party. And I will I will trail along as you all go uh, because I'm a little on the squishy side. Okay. <clears throat> so. Um. So you guys are splitting up. Tucson and Oni are heading back to the ship. Roja, uh, are you? I'm no, Roja and Oni. Roja, Roja and Oni Roja are heading and Oni. back to the ship because I don't want I want them there in case you know because she can help with guns and computers and all that and and he's guarding the the, the loot. So uh, yeah, yeah, I'm I'm gonna uh, you know do my thing out here. Okay, so as um, the two of you guys head back to the ship, um, the security guys go with you. And it's, it's supposed to be going with me. Hmm? We're ne we are, we need them. We need them with us. Ah. Yeah, they're supposed to be going with me. Okay. So the two of you guys go back to the ship, and the four of you guys um, start going forward. Uh, am I ah, getting this straight? The Echo's coming too, right? Yeah, yeah. Sarah's coming too, right? Yeah. No. Huh? We, yeah. Are, me, and the it's security serious. guys are taking point. We're going first. And and they're coming. They're following up behind us. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. All right. So. Um. All right. So the question is: Are you guys going over to two B? Yeah, you guys are going to two B, and the other ones are going back to part A. Now I got you. Not two B. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You you got no, it. I'm here for it. it. <laughs> I'm here for it. I'm here for it. We'll allow it. <laughs> All right. So, um, first off, Roja and Oni. Mm -hmm. As you guys head back, um, you guys are heading back to the ship, and you see five to ten of their people chasing those lizards around. <laughs> <laughs> because unfortunately your droid did not exactly know where it was leading them but it doesn't know where to stop either so it's just running around but yeah there it, it, it looks like a cluster and um in the distance well, the, uh, you can see captain lita look over at your captain they're looking down, they're looking around, they're just shaking their heads. <laughs> and cut to Yondo, Toussaint, and Lyra. Okay, so you guys are moving forward. Yes? I'm uh, taking yeah, that point. Is correct. Okay. Right. Now, several hundred feet into the tunnel, you come across an intersection. 
Okay. It looks like the forward tunnel leads to an open door with a lit room behind it, but the tunnel to the right and left seem to be blocked from d blocked by degree and stuff like that <laughs> um, from said firefight that you know happened earlier. But there seems I to be a blue her, light. Well, there there seems to be a blue light that's flickering from the debris side. Okay. Ask Sarah, which way did your sensor say go now? Um, hmm. Let's see. Our sensor is pointing through this other room. This is about where we got stopped. So it looks like we have to go to this area, and he points to 2G. So the question is, um, are you guys going to send them on to 2G, and are you going to follow them to 2G, or at least to 2E, which is next, or are you going to are you going to head over to 2C? What are you guys going to do? You got options. There's only debris oh. in this space, huh? There's only debris in this space. That's what you can see, but there's okay. also like a flickering blue light. Well, uh, and, and Yonder, maybe perhaps you can. Uh, uh, my thought is our goal is to try to help them so they can help us, right? Right. So perhaps do we need to be worried about side quests? I mean, we could swing back through later if necessary, right? Of course. Yeah, we, we want them to get what they want as soon as possible. Then my good friend, Sarah, please lead the way. Okay. And <clears throat> she had you guys into 2E, the center room. Mm -hmm. Now... There are platforms all over the place, large metal platforms, and they're just above the store, uh, uh, just above the floor. Um, and it looks like it, it looks like there's something about this place that gives the impression that it's meant for like a large crew. This looks like a big debriefing room or a meeting room or what would be a bridge on a ship. And there is a huge screen with the schematics of this entire facility. Check the traps. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. That's cool. Um, feel free to um, um, make that roll. That's investigation, right? Yes. Oh, crap. Seven. <laughs> All clear. Okay. Good. Ducky. Good. I'm not going to say that, but not, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay we can see all the the walls of this place right like yes you, know... you can see all the walls okay so but can I'm... you see from the window to the wall there are no windows <laughs> <laughs> oh sorry that must have been a pop culture reference i didn't get <laughs> dang it that wouldn't happen to be like sweat coming I down something now. right <laughs> I was annoyed at the hunters before, but I've decided I love both of them now. I'm very happy. <laughs> what? Um, Oni's a sentinel. He's not a hunter. <laughs> so oh, I can't help but notice that there is a uh, a weird outlet near where we're going. Like there's mm -hmm. a there's a there's a passage. I I can see it, and I whisper to uh, uh, to Song. Yeah. We we've got. We're supposed to follow them. But there's there's a lot more to this place than just a hiding spot. We really need to understand what this is later. Okay, you uh, you 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 say you see there's a schematic up there. Does the schematic up there cover this side quest area that you're now interested in? Uh, it d does does it? Is that, uh, did we yeah. get to make that choice? Um, it definitely. It, yeah, it definitely it shows what your map is showing. It looks like the schematic that's off the wall is the same one that was uploaded to you by the first officer. Okay, so, so the it's, side quest area is not on the schematic. It is. It's area two C. No, well, I'm saying where it says passage from A four bonus mission. That's yeah. what I'm asking about because that's what we're looking at. Now, yeah, that's right? what that's what I'm seeing. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, but you guys didn't take it, <laughs> not yet. Okay, and it's not on the map. Hmm. It's, it's not, not on this map. map. It's not oh, on this map. Oh, so we have to have been in A A4 in order to take that mission. Exactly. Um, you would have had to take the side quest. Then you would have gone down the um, 
the path that that quest would have put you on. Oh, okay. So it's not that I can see it from being in 2E. Right. I can't see what that is. Okay. Right. All well, right. as fascinating as the boardroom is, um, <laughs> well, yeah. we are we are we are moving on. So, well, it's I, not I exactly a boardroom with chairs and stuff. Um, these platforms um, <clears throat> seem to have like arms and various things. Um, think more of like an automotive plant. Oh crap! And so again, this is where the spiders could, are made. Uh, it it, uh, it appears that it's here to make something. <laughs> is it operational? Uh, that you would actually need to do a mechanics or a computers check in this room. I I will run a mechanics check and I uh, and I get an eight, so I don't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, end scene. We're gonna cut back over to Roja and Oni. <laughs> so <laughs> now um you guys are heading back to the ship and like i said it's just utter pandemonium utter pandemonium um some of the lizard creatures are still chasing your droid around <laughs> the crew is chasing a bunch of those droids um so um what are you guys gonna do me i'm gonna go in oh go ahead Oh, man. Um, does my droid have like any weapons? Like, uh, not yet. Or, mm, okay, never mind. I was thinking about doing something. I'll uh, I'll just bypass these people and literally tell Roger like, Roger, look, like, they're, <laughs> they're they're not look. You're like Leslie Jones like, and Ghostbusters. Why, <laughs> they're, they're, I'm like, good. Don't, nobody's nobody's worried about them. I'm going to I'm going to check on this cargo and keep it safe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you guys start to head back up um to the ship, and actually, yeah, could I try something? Could um, go ahead. Could I somehow try to lead the the mound like into outer space somehow? Ooh. Um. Lead the robot. You're literally mm -hmm. thinking about jettisoning. Jet, um, jet, um, you, you're gonna blow your, you're gonna blow your thing out in the outer space. What you would need to do is figure out a way to get control of the hangar bay so that you can open it. <laughs> Keep I mean, in mind, you're inside an asteroid. I, hmm? I, I was gonna try to get them back, like, like you know, after they get, because I don't, I don't want to bring them back. To where we're at, I just um, want to get out of get, get get them out of the way permanently. What's your intelligence score? My intelligence is. Give me one second. Or better yet, make a um, make an astrophysics roll. Astrophysics. Astrophysics. Okay. What's um astrophysics? That's an intelligence check as well. Astrophysics okay. plus the astrophysics or intelligence bonus plus the astrophysics proficiency if you have it. If not, then just an intelligence check. Okay, I don't think I said you said astrophysics. I don't have that. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's uh, going to be a regular roll plus one. Huh? It's going to be a regular roll plus, yeah, okay. plus one. Um, 11, that's 12. 12, okay. <clears throat> if you can open up the airlock and get everything into outer space and no, um, you will do a great job at that. Matter of fact, everything will be sucked out from um, the lizards and everything else that's currently not in a sealed ship. Mm. Okay. Would that include us in another room? Um, depends on which room you're in. We're in two, two e, two, or yeah, yeah, two e. Um, there will be some stuff. 
<laughs> there will be some stuff but it's possible that you won't um you might not make it all the way depending on if you're bashed along the walls oh <laughs> god always and stuff mm. a vacuum is a vacuum hmm. god, i really want to get rid or should of i say things. an airlock blowout is an airlock blowout you were not safe behind the door from 2b to into 2e oh um you guys didn't mention anything about closing said door well, what if they no, we radio to us through the comms that they're going to do this so we can close that door? Well, if they We've had such luck with the communication skills. Before, right? <laughs> yeah, if they right. were to do that, that would be no problem. However, um, what you're doing oh, right now is called metagaming, and you have to let the players play their characters Dang it. as okay. their players are. <laughs> learning, learning. Okay, it's can okay. I, yeah. Being that I saw the craziness that I saw. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can I walk back? to like the front door of the ship where I can see everything and just pull out my gun and shoot all the lizards and then go back inside. Oh, you want to help you want to help with the combat. Okay. Uh, I, I, I feel like that's a setup. I just want, uh, the way he said that was such a setup. Oh, so you want you trying to die. Like that's what so you, you want to do. Look, they're chasing a whole bunch of lizards Why around, shooting them and stomping on them. So Plus if you want to help them with that, you can. Plus, we still right. got the, the, the mound of them to deal with. That's what I'm trying to get rid of. Oh, no. The mound is dissipated. It's now scattered. It, yeah, yeah, it's, 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 it's oh. They think lay down about, on the floor. They smoking cigarettes. It's fine. No, think about they just want to have cockroaches the when the lights come on, but the cockroaches right. can't get into the wall, so they're just running everywhere. Okay. How many how many are chasing my droid, then? Huh? How many about are chasing six. my droid? Oh, six, okay. Yeah. I'll just... I'll just I'll send I'll send him back to me since I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that whole hanger suction thing. Okay, um I want it you to make only, only about six. I want you to make a okay. mechanics check and I'll just tell okay. you right out you need ten or higher. Okay. Alrighty then. Well hot hands. Uh, That's not uh -oh. a good face. Okay. That's not a That's good, good face. face. <laughs> okay. So yeah. Oh, okay. So, now she, so can yeah, I shoot him? Um, can I just shoot him? Huh? Now she's can I pregnant just with him? lizards. <laughs> she's mm. not pregnant with lizards. I'm not running that kind of game. Uh, no, that was to see if you successfully turned off the hypersonic, um, the hypersonic, um, transmitter, and you mm -hmm. did not. But your, um, yeah, but your droid's coming back. <laughs> it's sore all day. Oh no. Um, right. And they're all horny. <laughs> um, and now, um, Mike, I want you to make four, count them, four attack rolls with your guns. <laughs> All right. For 20, 20 die? D20 plus, right, cool. um, plus your, um, plus your dexterity bonus plus, um, your proficiency bonus. All right. So, because you are skilled I in those weapons, up. am I taking like the highest number or the lowest number? Neither. You're just rolling one d twenty. You're no longer rolling at disadvantage. All right. Cool. Cool. Yeah. This just uh, you roll four of them and make note of the result. So, all right. So, the first roll, and I'm adding dexterity and what else? Proficiency. All right. So. And so, so what? I right, cool. So the first roll is sixteen. Okay. And roll damage. Uh, I don't know where that is. Hold up. Roll damage. Should be like one d six plus one or something. Look at your equipment list on your character sheet right next to your gun. Uh, It'll be pistol, limitless. proficient, damage. Uh, I'm lost because I don't see it. It's on uh, the first heavy page. Purple? Is it first a heavy page? Purple? Is that what it is? Hang on, I'm pulling it up. Um, doo -doo. again, ladies and gentlemen, this is this is Mike's very first role playing experience ever at tabletop. <laughs> And there's way too many numbers. All right, are you using? Yeah, you're using your auto rifle. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. All right, so you roll a d twenty plus five. 
All right, cool. And so, then, so and then, you got sixteen, and now for your damage, you roll one d six. All right, so the damage one d six, which is a three. So what? Three and five is eight. Uh, no, no. Or, um, your damage is three. It's your d twenty roll plus five to hit, and your damage is one d six. All right, cool. So I got to roll a d20 again? Correct. All right, I got 16 on that. So then um, what do I do? Plus there? five. So uh, 21. 21. Okay, now that establishes that you hit. And now you roll a d6 to, um, to damage them. And I rolled a six. Okay. Nice. And again. Right, cool. So did I win? <laughs> um, keep rolling. You need two more. That's how any of this work. All right. <laughs> All right, cool. So roll another D20. Uh-huh. All right, cool. I got 11 that time. And add your plus five. Did you add plus five? Oh, um, then uh, I got 16. Okay. Now roll a D6. And I got four. Okay. And one more time. I I got eight plus so I got eleven. Eight plus five is not eleven. Oh, sorry. No, I'm. I was thinking about the dexterity stuff. Ah. Um. Then eight and five. Uh, what, thirteen. Okay. So <clears throat> your first one, brat, and the first lizard just explodes into pink mist and chunks of meat um the second one you hit it and first it was almost like something picked it up and threw it against the wall but it exploded before it hit the wall <laughs> and then the chunks of meat okay, just okay. hit the ground the third one um it's like you got a ricochet off the ground and it hit its hindquarters so it's on the ground and it's twitching and like flailing and the last one you missed completely. <laughs> okay. Well. Okay. I mean, However, at least I didn't have to run around for ten minutes to do that. <laughs> <laughs> However long those people have been running around. Okay. And um, um, both captains are like, "What the hell are you doing? We're in an enclosed area." <laughs> and um, but this is a super large. Anger. It's not that enclosed. Yeah. Um, not like I came one, into a, a bathroom shooting a gun. Well, the one that <laughs> missed ricochets and actually hits oh. your ship. <laughs> oh. It's one bullet, man. What can one bullet do to a whole ship? Man, don't ask that question. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, why don't you roll for it? <laughs> yeah, no, this is, this is that scary movie. What is that sound? Why don't you go find out? <laughs> That's what you just did to us. In space. <laughs> I can't but, believe we even safely got out of a spaceport in the first place. I can't <laughs> believe we, we did. So, sure enough, um, when all that stuff happens, um, two of the crew members of Captain Lita um, hit the ground grabbing their ears <laughs> because you're using a ballistic weapon in an enclosed space. <laughs> so it is loud. <laughs> it's like being at the gun range without your headphones on. <laughs> Ooh, okay, okay. And you fired off, you fired four burst shots. So I'm going to punch him brrr, just for doing brrr, that. Huh? I'm going to punch him just for doing that. All right, uh, make an athletics check. <laughs> um, <laughs> what is your armor class, Mike? Uh, my armor class is uh, 15. Okay. That's your target number. <laughs> You're lucky you got 11. All right. So, yeah, she kind of does the bunk. All right. And, um, however, um, with all that, you scare off all of the, um, you scare off the rest of the lizards and they start climbing into the walls, except for maybe seven of them that make a beeline for the ones that you shot and exploded. And they're just starting to eat. <laughs> wow. That's nasty, but at least, uh, <laughs> at least the problem is semi-solved. At least most of them are gone. 
And I'm, I assume the people that were running around before can just use a net or something. I don't know. Or do I need to do something again? I don't know. They scram- I mean, no, the lizards guys, scrambled the back. Of them. The lizards it's scrambled back into people, the wall. Man. Yeah, they scrambled into the walls and into the cracks and crevices of the rock. Um, now, Rosia, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm trying to tie off my hyperspeed droid so I can get him. I'm putting him back in my bag. Okay. And both captains look at you, look at the two of you. They look at <laughs> they look at Oni. And simultaneously, almost like they planned this, they just point toward the door. Dang. <laughs> Interstellar timeout. <laughs> they just, <laughs> they're just like, uh, go. J- just go. <laughs> what? What do we do? <laughs> it's hateration because I fixed the problem. <laughs> it almost murdered us all. <laughs> And cut back to Yando and, and Toussaint and the other three. Um, you guys hear burst gunfire. <laughs> Just brat, 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 brat. I'm gonna get on calm. Hi, what's happening out there? Hello. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna arrogantly run back towards the gunfire. No, 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 what's no. Going on. <laughs> We have technology. <laughs> okay. I'm yelling after him. <laughs> and of course, Dang um, it. and of course, um, the two guards um, follow Yandau. And I look at Sarah. Yeah. I look at Sarah, and I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm, 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 just, I'm sorry. And she just raises her hand, like, "Let me guess, you guys, you guys haven't served together for more than a year, right?" I met these guys today. (laughs) (laughs) Just a little bit ago. (laughs) Yep, 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 yep. That's a thing. That's a thing. Okay. Well. um, Is anybody responding to me on call? Hmm? Is anybody responding on call? Not yet. I'm like, what's happening? (laughs) Can I I respond? Um, Lizards. You respond on comms after you've been pointed. (laughs) <laughs> all right cool okay then what happened is there was a whole bunch of lizards that we finally got past they were running around couldn't catch them i took the initiative shot some down scared them all off and now i'm in trouble you <laughs> shot them with a gun in an enclosed space are you insane the enclo- enclosed plate space ain't that small it do you not know how pressurization works do you have you not flown in space before no, <laughs> I mean, well, yes, but I've never, I've never had to, I've never had to shoot lizards because people that I was with were confident enough to just catch the lizards in the first place. Okay, first of all, they were just horny and there were no threat. Please don't shoot anything unless we're in danger. <clears throat> Hi. All right, I'm going. Uh, uh, okay, I turned to Sarah and I relay to her what just happened. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so one of your guys. So one that's of the your boy. I'm flying with. He's not my guy. I'm, I'm just flying. Oh, 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 oh. That's your boy. <laughs> I'm just saying that that's your boy. It's not my boy. You got me. You got me, Sarah. You got me. that. That's your boy. Anyway, um, yeah, this looks like the spider manufacturing place, which makes a lot of sense. Them. The upside is that there are none here. We must have killed all the rest of them before we came across you guys. Do you believe it is functional? Do you believe we should shut it down? Um, are you trained in this level of mechanical knowledge or computer stuff? This isn't my bag. I started as a I'm pilot. Trained in dis- I'm trained in destroying lots of things. I've got a gift for that. So ah, you're if a breaker. you'd like to step out of the room. Yes. If you'd like to step out of the room, I have an area thing that I can do that can cause quite a bit of damage. Really? Yes, ma'am. You know what? I'm going to take my guys and we're going to proceed forward. Well, you guys went back with my guy, unfortunately, so. Hmm. Chances are they'll be back. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to seal the room up from where they went. I'm going to proceed forward. And you use your thing. Well, wait, 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 wait. I don't think it's safe. Are you 
I think if that's the case, I should come with you because nobody should be by themselves. Then that's who's the going to set off your room clearing thing? Do you believe that we're in any danger from this room in the next five or ten minutes? Honestly, I couldn't tell. But what I can see is that there are no spider mecha droids up there right now. Um, like I said, we must uh, we must have cleared them out when they attacked us the first time. The next thing, though, is are these automated droids? Are these Kanasis? I'm not quite sure. But what I do know is that those platforms are empty. And if they're empty, I'd like to. I'm good. I'd, I'd what like I can to, see I'd is like there's to check about the a dozen displays around here to see if we can turn this off with just pushing buttons without me blowing anything up. Just you know, just for kicks. Make an intelligence computer check. Okay, an intelligence computer. It's not mechanics. All right, let me look at my sheet and see what my. We've got uh, full Prometheus. I am pushing every button plus. I can find. <laughs> Okay, I got a nine, which is not good. <laughs> From what you can tell, um, it does seem to be a standard kind of point and click interface. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, even with the training that you have, you can't exactly recognize the language that this stuff is in. Are you still gonna okay. push a button? I'm I mean, not gonna go push a broke. button. I'm gonna say. I'm not going to push a button. I'm going to say, hang on, I have an idea because there's somebody on the ship smarter than me. And I try to get our tech friend on comp. Okay. And Yondo. Yes. What are you, what are you doing? You're running back? I ran back mm -hmm. and I slid into room 2C to kind of get like a, a point of position. So I'm in that hallway trying to see exactly what in the world is going on gun-wise. Oh, no. Okay. And you head you head into room two C, and as you're running that way, the two guards are following you. Right. And as you start getting up there, um, Oni and Roja get close, and they see you guys turn. Oni, Roja, what are you guys doing? Uh, I'm gonna go to room two C. Okay, Roja. I'm gonna go to where I was loud. Um, where Toussaint is. Um. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Cool. All right, cool. You make your way over to Tucson. Oni and Yondo, when you guys get into the room at 2C, um, again, there are lights, flickering lights coming in um, from underneath. <clears throat> from underneath that pile of rubble. Inside All right, before I recognize the lights, can I say something to Yondo? Hmm. Yeah. Can you believe these ungrateful people that was mad that I stayed? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Hunter ungrateful hunts. people. A Hunter Hunt. Try, try to put me in timeout. A Hunter Hunt, man. So, I, I, so in character. So in character. Yeah, yeah, really. Um, <laughs> all right. So, um, so the two guards are there, and from that flickering light, um, you you see something moving and two shots fire off hitting the guards dead center in their brain pan ooh ooh and you hear were they wearing red shirts hmm both are they wearing red shirts they are Blue. now. <laughs> oh, yeah. no better, answer. Better, better answer. Better answer. <laughs> what did the survey say? Ding! They are now is the number one answer. Um, oh. And from that <laughs> pile, um, on the other side of the pile, you see what looks to be a Bellare in a ruptured containment suit. Love, <laughs> come back, have the scared off by spider constructs but have now returned such bravery <laughs> uh, i want to i want to charge in with my claws action okay <laughs> can, I, can i can i fight can i can i disarm and, and fight this thing because obviously shooting in such a space is a bad idea but my with my physical size and and strength I'd like to think that I, I yeah and both of us got some skills so we right, are right. comms still on hmm yes the uh, comms are still on 
Oh, um. Could um, I call to you? What's, um, yeah. what's, what's going on over there? I'm hearing noises. Who are you? So, who are you calling to? Um, oh, so the hunters. Yes. Mm-hmm. You mean Oni and Yando? Because mm-hmm. yeah. Oni's a sentinel. He's not a hunter. <laughs> right. 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 Yeah. He did act like a hunter. <laughs> I don't know. He's he's actually playing a sentinel really, really well. He's like, I'm trying to guard the cargo. <laughs> now I'm here to guard cargo. That is what I'm here to do. <laughs> There seems like there's plot down that tunnel, but that plot's taking taking me away from guarding the cargo. <laughs> um, um, so yeah, all right. And um, Toussaint, um, yes, sir. you hear Roja on the comms trying to talk to them. And I'm gonna speak to Ro- Roja on the comm. Like, based on what I've seen, it's probably more shenanigans, and we have a technical concern here that requires your innate, your innate skills, man. Okay. You know what? I'm going to send my um, little little robot to see what, what's going on over there, over where they are. They being... Us. Oni. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Oni and Yana. Yes. Sorry. The signal Green. in the Marlon Hardy over. I'm juggling three groups right now, way. guys. <laughs> Yeah, I'm juggling three groups. The pronoun they is not good. <laughs> oh, okay. Wait. My droid still has lizards on him? I thought I got him. Huh? Oh, no, 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 no. Your droid's fine. Joking about yeah, yeah, I was oh. just joking. I'd be oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. But yeah, I was going to send my little robot over there to see what's going on because I've been heard noises over there. So. Okay. But, and I, plus, I got to translate this stuff too. I okay. can't be too pleased with Two places at once. No, you cannot. All right, so you send your robot over there, and we're going to cut to <clears throat> um, Oni and Yando. So you've got the claws out. Right. All right. And cool. I take out my long blade. I get on the comms and let people know two of the people are dead, and there's some kind of weird killer robot or something. You, and... you know what a Bellare is. <laughs> Oh, I do know. It, oh, it's okay. one of the standard races of of the game. Essentially, an oh. inter- essentially Captain Adam, but it's a race of Captain Adams. So it's a problem. Oh, hmm? yeah, it's a problem. Which is why I'm go- I'm, I want to go in for the kill. I'm trying to. I'm wait, trying to... wait, wait, wait! <laughs> see what he has to say first. I know these things ain't. Thank you. He didn't, he didn't talk <laughs> Thank <us> you. Yet. <laughs> I need, I know Can we have a conversation? <laughs> no, no. First, let me disarm you, and then we can talk. Okay. And, I'm with him. And the I'm Bilar- with him. There's two people dead with a bullet in between yeah, the eyes, yeah. and we're trapped in where with it. Yeah. Yo, got to take the sword. You're not take trapped. You walked in busy. the door. You're not trapped. You walked in the door. You walked okay. in there. Yeah, but I'm, I know I'm not fast. Look, looking at my speed, I'm not fast enough to outrun a bullet. So I got I to gotta disarm <laughs> this guy. Because even in trying to back out, he can still, blah, 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 you know, that's, that's. Well, for the record, um, he didn't use a ballistic gun. He used lasers. Um, oh, I'm definitely not laser fast, bro. And sure enough, <clears throat> he, looks o- uh, he looks over at you and his energy face kind of flickering lights. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now, star chaser. Uh, no? I am Yondo. And he lowers his gun. <laughs> oh, so he, he respects my gangster. Okay. Yeah, he, he, oh he did. Okay. He saw you. Okay. Oh he, he, saw, he saw the claws right, and was like. Somebody up. <laughs> I am Yondo. I hate you guys. <laughs> no, on the real, because I was about to chop your butt up. All right. Okay. So, so, so thing, you put your gun down. Listen, listen. I was trying to figure out a way to, to gracefully do this, but I, I gotta go. My my wife is like is giving me the eye. Um what's 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 the best way for me to do this in this moment? Um, I got you. Okay. 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 All right. So sure enough, um, you know, it looks over. Mm, injured child must Love, you're not Star Chaser. Nope, nope. I'm, I'm, y- I'm Yondo. Yeah, me am like, Yondo. You got the wrong dude, yo. Yeah. Help needed. 
clues. <clears throat> All right, so I'm I'm gonna step over and I'm gonna see what what's exactly wrong. Okay, um, make a xenobiology check. Yeah, yeah, xeno check. That's what I. That's the, that's the phrase. <laughs> right. Boom. Thirteen plus four. Okay. Seventeen. All right. This guy's containment suit has definitely been breached, and his power is starting to dissipate. You could probably take him back to your ship. Right. But it's going to take both of you guys to carry him because the containment suit weighs about 600 pounds. Okay. Oof. All right, cool. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah. Let's get him, let's get him back to the ship. I'm assuming since there's a breach, if he blows up and you say we you're racing Captain Adams, we all did. everybody did. Pretty yeah, much. Yeah. So let's go get some space duct tape to put on yep. his suit. So let's I gotta do is put some glue and then push it together real hard. And then just, and I'm gonna hold it. And, I'm gonna just, <laughs> and as a matter of fact, that's what I'm gonna do the rest of this mission right here is I'm just sitting yep, there holding we, it. We just gonna be holding it. Okay. Like it. Like and um, now it's time for us to take another break. Um, thank you guys for showing, um, Dude, for showing so up. If fun. you guys are watching this on YouTube, we hope you're having fun. <laughs> Leave a comment, um, hit the thumbs up. Um, Leave a good comment if you really like what you're seeing here, and if you don't like if you don't like what you're seeing here, then make sure to subscribe and share it. Saying, "Oh my God, I can't believe I'm looking at this. You need to look at this too, just to be like, oh, who are these guys?" And um, I can't thank, stand this stuff, you know. And thank you guys for showing up here. And we're gonna take just a little bit of a break. All right, guys. Thanks. Oh my God, this was funny. Yeah, this was fun. Thank you guys. <laughs> Oh my okay. God! Why are you guys not so, willing to have a conversation? I, okay, I was I was trying to to do the most abrasive thing, hoping it would get me killed so I could go. I didn't, I didn't oh no, brother! Uh, trust me, you don't want your character to die. Oh, okay. Um, before we okay. get out of here, I was since trying, Quinn I is almost it. yeah, since Quinn is I'm, almost gone. <laughs> Yeah. And, or since Quinn is gone for this session, and I know the two of you guys got to go. See, like I said, trust me. Just let me know what's going on, I and I can write you. stuff out. Um, we need to schedule the next session. Okay. Cool. Okay. So we'll we'll get up on Facebook on that then. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's All what right. I, that's what I want to know because I had planned okay. on this being a four hour thing um, to finish out this module. Um, and then I award you guys experience points, you guys level up, you guys do all that jazz, and then we come back Ooh. in the next session and all that jazz. Okay. Um, but you guys have to bail halfway through. Yeah. And um, so um, that I is- I wanted to see what, how to shut down the computer. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Tune so in next I, time. I don't need you for that. I need Same her. Same bad time. You. I mean, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. You're yeah, exactly, you're right. exactly. Right. That That is a major thing. So if you guys, um, <laughs> if our two fighters got to go. <laughs> um, well, I'm, I can stay, but the only thing is, if if I stay, it's like weird because I'm just in the story, but I'm with Yondo and, you know. Oh, uh, no, no, no. You said, um, I got your message in the group. You said that your time's up, so I put yeah. you to a point where I could Well, no, he was saying out. that about me. No, My I was saying that his time yeah. is up. Yeah, oh, time is up. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. That's yeah. no problem. I can always, okay. I can bring you back in to the game. Okay. Okay. Right. I can right, do cool, that. Cool. Then I, I can okay. still rock with y'all. Yeah. Yeah. The next, right. what? We got but like actually, left? Um, yeah, I can do yeah. that. At the so, moment, we've only got 20 minutes left um, for the schedule time that I got you guys. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I can go along. I don't have a problem. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I will, I will jump back in as soon as I can uh, on terms of scheduling. Yeah, please. So, because we'll um, honestly, I think our viewers are really enjoying this. Like, if this we take a look fun. at the chat over here. This is awesome. Um, yeah, uh, we got PM Mansfield going. Did he just say their shenanigans need your expertise? <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> and Clever Vixen is like, man, he did. <laughs> <laughs> he did. You know. Uh, so yeah, yeah. Th this is a big thing. So awesome. Um, awesome. for the newer players, cool, cool. okay, for Victor and Mike, um. Are you guys now seeing why this has become such a big phenomenon and big hobby? Yeah, yeah. You know, now this is yeah, this fun. is dope. Yeah, yeah. So this is this is a major thing. It's just <laughs> one of these things where I know it was hard to get everybody together and to explain to you what we were doing and all that jazz. But now that you're in it, you got a better understanding. Right. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Um, yeah. Again, um, Shatasia has. This is what your fourth game session with me. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. So, nice. and she nice. was brand new. She was brand new. And, um, so yeah, this is, again, this is, um, Mike, you were asking like, is it really going to take four hours though? <laughs> and now you're seeing why, because yep. there is gameplay <laughs> And then their shenanigans, and since then we got this, like the breaks and the shenanigans, and all that. Um, right. and even beyond that, mostly shenanigans. Yeah, mostly, shenanigans. mostly shenanigans. Because unlike a video game, I could try and railroad you and say, "No, you're going here next. No, you're going here next." But that's not fun. You guys have all the agency that you wish you had in a video game. You just don't have the graphics. Gotcha. Now nah, that's dope. Yeah, so it it really why can't why can't video games be made like this? Because you have no idea how expensive it would be. The to amount create... of programming to do something like yeah. that is crazy. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. All right, forgive me guys. I yeah, that's run, why Cyberpunk but, uh, just got pushed back again. Yeah. I will I will right. talk to you guys right. later. Big Thank love you. to the family. Okay. Happy okay. belated Father's right. Day. I know it's been a week, so that's a thing. All right. So now what I have to do now is I have to okay. Um, not yet. Yeah, I gotta reorganize this. Cause, um, yeah, I gotta reorganize this thing over here to, um, fit the remaining players. So that is a thing. So where did I put this? I put that here. Uh huh. <coughs> okay. Here. And here. And here. Okay. <laughs> so, I got Hannibal. I've got Tay. And I've got, and I've got Mike. <clears throat> All right. So, um, so now here is the biggest and most operable question in regards mm -hmm. to what we're doing now. Okay. Uh -huh. Um, hang on. What is, which one is this one? This is that one. Um, would you guys like to, um, wrap up, wrap this up and try and schedule and try and schedule something. Um, oh, wait, let me kill my view. Um, there we go. Yeah, so we've got the options of wrapping this up and picking this up at this point um, in the next session. Um, do you guys want to try and finish the module as it stands? Or um, or what? This is, this is your guys' call because I know everybody is busy. Hannibal, you say you can go late. Mike, what's your word? I'm cool. I'm cool. I know we only got like 40 more minutes or whatever, so I'm cool. Well, I'm I've good. scheduled 40 more minutes. My question is, do you want to go until the thing is done? Like, do you want to give it another hour? Or uh, um, do you I want to... Could. Yeah, again, yeah, I know... I could. I you got to check with Lady Lisa. Um, <laughs> and I know Tay has got to check with her people. Hannibal, you got to check with your people. I'm good. You're good? I'm good. Okay. <clears throat> I'm pretty much good. Um All right. So this is the big important thing. Cuz like I said, I don't um one of my things about working with us is um I don't get in the way of family. <laughs> I don't do that. Tay, I need you to adjust your camera. Mhm. Mm Cuz I'm Oh, that's better. That Oh, look at the, there's that face. <laughs> Look at that pun them now. That that's that that is the business. All right, there we go. By the way, I gotta ask, are you guys watching this on the Twitch channel? <laughs> like how many I'm of you not. guys okay. I'm not I'm paying, I'm on the Zoom. I'm jumping in and out. So what's up to everybody in the chat? How y'all doing? <laughs> All right. So yeah, yeah, that was yeah, that was good on that end, and now we're back to what we needed to do. All right. So. All right. And. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? We are here in the next part of the Star Chasers campaign with Warp Tumblers Dark Matter. Thank you, guys. Man, our chat is going crazy. Just crazy. 
Um, <laughs> and again, um, our chat is seriously like we got uh, P Mansfield th uh, <clears throat> 3723. Now, I know for a fact this dude has been gaming for over 20, 30 years, and he's like, you guys are crushing it. So, you know, give yourself a major pat on the back. I know this is, I'm having a good time. I'm having a Why, good time. Why, thank you. With this, with this whole thing, I'm actually having fun. Um, so, um, all right. So what I'm going to do is we are going to pick up, <clears throat> um, we are going to pick up with a smash cut because we like storytelling. And, um... When we last left our adventurers, there were some shenanigans that was going on. And um, <laughs> our hunter and our sentinel ended up escorting an injured Bel um, Belare back to their ship. And <clears throat> shortly after the drop off, um, Oni, our sentinel, makes a beeline to um, Toussaint and Rosia. But before he gets there, those two need to have a conversation. Wonderful. Ah, thank you. I I'm so happy to see you. Um, our good friend, Sarah, who we've met now, the XO of the other show, and I, we've discovered this is where they make the spiders. And we would like it not to make any more spiders. But sadly, our skills are nowhere near as technical as your own. So could you please use your inimitable abilities to possibly shut this shenanigan down so we can possibly not have to fight any more space spiders, which would be horrible. Can't make one before we, before we get rid of them? Get, get, before we, before we, um... Could we not make one, possibly? Just as a suggestion? I mean... Because, you know, space spiders. I mean, I just want to make one for, you know, like, <laughs> for, for me. Well, I don't think our captain would be happy with us bringing a space spider back on the ship. Am I able uh, to hear this so, or no? Huh? Um, no, this is the conversation that's happening when you're on okay. your way back. Okay, cool. So my recommendation, so the captain, who's already a little on edge, doesn't get a little more on edge, is to just not have any more space fighters. Sarah, would you not agree? Honestly, um, I don't think it would be a good idea to make any more of these things unless you know for a fact, without question, that you can control the thing. Can I make an intelligence see if maybe I would be able to control one of these things? Because I've just having saying, a, what having a space do, spider one. that we can control is not a bad idea. It could come in handy. I, I mean, I'm just, I'm guys. just saying. I can't stand you guys. <laughs> but if we can control it, like if it's like just like just like her other robot, she got another robot. <laughs> She made that um, robot. You're asking, can I? She's gonna be I'm making saying, this one. Um, make the roll. Okay. You know I GM by manage of uh, by method of typo. Try it, find out. <laughs> yes. Um, I got a seventeen plus that's intelligence, right? Huh? Intelligence plus computers or intelligence plus mechanics. Uh, I don't officiate in any in any of those, so that's plus one, so eighteen. 18? Mm -hmm. You're pretty sure you can pull it off, actually. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. It should Space work. Robot. Then I have to I have to say, we have to check in with the captains before this happens. Because Hold on. we can I call should it not Spidey? be making <laughs> we should not be making evil spider robots without the approval of the nice captain. One. It's not evil Don't if you... I'm controlling it. Thank you. It's gonna be Sarah. a nice robot. Sarah, Sarah, what do you don't you agree that we should definitely get captain approval for this sort of thing? You didn't get it on care approval when you made that dinner, did you? Well, mm. on on one level Okay. On one level that would be protocol. On another level, it is sometimes best to get permission um to get permission. Other times it's best to get forgiveness. Now, I will say Forgive this, this time. if any of my crew did what you were proposing, I would probably blow it out the airlock and then target torpedoes at it. But you're not my crew. Our, I can't tell you what to yeah. do. I'm not in charge either, but our captain's already pretty cranky. And I'd like not to have her be any more cranky 
without absolute necessity. And while this is fun, I totally see the fun factor. This is not an absolute necessity. I'm going hater, to call, put a, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put Captain on the comp. Uh -huh. Please do. Call Captain. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you know, chat, you guys are evil. <laughs> <laughs> the chat is going off right now, going, I am pro this. You know, the Roomba needs a friend. You know, you should totally. Yes. <laughs> okay, so um, you hail the you hail the captain. Mm -hmm. Hi, um, Captain. How make, are you? Make it quick. Things are going sideways here. Well, what's going on? Uh, no time to explain. What are you calling for? I want to make a spider. I want to make a cake. <laughs> What's your point? That's not how you. That's not <laughs> how you sell it. <laughs> I want to make. Um, I found we found where um the spider things that attacked us are. What um, did I hire you where? for? To fix the build things. <laughs> to fix things. <laughs> So would that fall within the purview of your of your duties to this ship and to this mission? No. Then use your best judgment. We have a situation here, Captain Out. Click. Did she say yes? Did she say unequivocally <laughs> she yes? She didn't, she didn't say no either. <laughs> she said use your best <laughs> judgment. That's what she said. Even though I wasn't listening. Sarah. Sarah, Sarah. This is on comms. You could all hear it. Sarah, help me oh, out here. Cool. Hmm? So what did the captain say? Rosia, the captain said that this robot. did not match the this did not match the mission. That's what she our didn't captain said. But she also <laughs> said use your best judgment. Rosia, in your best judgment, do you know that you are able to create a robot and control the robot? Yes, yes. because you've already done it. So let's get a cool robot, and then we can. The next time we get attacked by space spiders, we can say, Psh, "We ain't tripping. We got our own." And somebody coming up to us with a pit bull, and we got our own pit bull. Then we just put the pit bull on the pit bull. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lean over to Sarah and say, "Is your ship hiring?" <laughs> I'm gonna make the robot. The I'm gonna make. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it, but okay. like. Medium sized. Go ahead and make your roll. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's a 10 plus 1 is 11. I'm going to step into the hallway. <laughs> Just okay. And um, the arms on the platforms start going. <laughs> And it looks like something's being built. All right, can I talk so to what? Rojo on comms? Hmm? Can I talk to Rojo on comms? I don't know. Can you use a comm? You guys are also in yeah. the same room. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah I, forgot. I forgot. Yeah. So anyway, the Rojo, you got to let me name it, though. I want to name it. I want to name it Spidey. <laughs> Kind of I'm unoriginal, gonna... but okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank from, you very much. From the hallway, from the hallway, I'm going to say, what happened to Riggs and Jacoby? <laughs> oh, they did. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Oh, the, remember the uh, the Valari, uh, the, the robot that we saved, and we went to put some duct tape on them? Well, he shot them, they did, but we good, so don't worry about it. Wait, and, what did this what did this Valari say? And at this point, um the executive officer looks over at you. You found a Bellare? Yeah, yeah. It was talking about it was talking about saving a kid and stuff. Shut up. And, shut up. The, and then Where's she the kid? and then she pulls her guns. Oh snap. what exactly did it say? I'm gonna pull All out right. my gun and point at her. I I draw down on her easy. Roll initiative. I'm gonna hold up. <laughs> I'm gonna hold. Oh God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I. 
She must have lost 18 her mind and pulling her gut on me. Is she crazy? I have 18. 18. I got 16. Initiative. Initiative. Okay, so we got... Initiative. We got... Where is eight. initiative? Uh, it is a D20 plus your dex. Oh, oh, then I got 16. I think mine is plus three, so that's 19. Uh-huh, Roja. All right, two song. Let me be sure, though. That girl lost her mind pulling her gun on me. You lost your mind? <laughs> <laughs> no one thing. Why is everybody so crazy? <laughs> I wasn't crazy. I was telling her a story. She pulled a gun out on me. You also just told her that her friends were dead. Did I kill him? <laughs> no, I was chilling out. The Bellarine shot him in the head. Maybe they should have did more training. <laughs> oh, wow. I got now nah, I'm in trouble because some people got dead. So, I'm just saying this is the second shenanigans. What you know? Whatever. What we are. We're, let's wait for Solar to get get the initiative and we'll, we'll work it out. Actually, yep. Mine, mine is plus three, so it's nine, nineteen. Mm-hmm. All right, cool. So I got you're 16. ahead of me. Okay. I'm at, I'm at, uh, what the hell does that say? Uh, 18. Thank you. <laughs> All right. 18. <clears throat> All right. So <clears throat> once that, um, once she pulls that out, um, she's got both of her guns trained on you, kind of clicks her, uh, she clicks her shoulder. Um, SC number one, the captain. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we know. They brought it this way. Oh, well. Um, do we do we currently need them? Uh, we have not found the younger one. We do not. <laughs> um, I want you to make a lore, uh, lore check real quick. Um, Rosia. Okay. That's the natural one. Natural one? Okay. Yep. Oh my god. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> you good. <laughs> okay. All right. And round one. Um, order of operations is Roja, Tucson, and Oni. What's her initiative? She's not, where's she in the order? Hmm? Or she used her turn? Did I will let you her, know. Her, uh... <laughs> yeah, I will let you know. Sorry. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to try to sh mm. Why'd you pull out your your guns on 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 us? What's your deal? Before, uh, I don't want to take you out without knowing your reason. <laughs> well, if you don't if you don't know why I'm pulling a gun on you, why would I monologue? And um, are you gonna perform an action? Yes. You get to talk. Gonna shoot one. Shoot one. Try to shoot one of her guns out of her hand. Okay, so you're doing a targeted shot? Mm-hmm. All right, that's at disadvantage. Okay. I'll do... Oh man. I gotta take the long one, which was... which is six. Plus all your to hits from the gun? Is it... wait. It's plus... What? It should yeah. be plus your dex bonus, plus your proficiency bonus, so... <clears throat> oh, apologize. I gotta keep going back and forth mm. to my sheet. I'm ready to get a laptop soon. That's why I got it on my tablet, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing, I don't have a tablet. <laughs> hey, broke is broke. We make sure this happens. <laughs> My pursuit. Um, hmm. I wonder if people in the chat saw my screen and saw what I'm about to do, but oh well. <laughs> <laughs> GM says you're good. You are, in fact, not good. Stop it, Mansfield. <laughs> 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 I think my proficiency bonus is three or no, two. Your proficiency bonus sure. is two. Okay, two. And what is your dexterity bonus? It's It's three. Okay, so, so that's, that's nine plus five. I'm and roll your damage, which is one D six. Okay. 
Three. Okay. Um, Toussaint. Yes, sir. You're up. I'm going to say, we all need to calm down, and I'm going to look at Sira and use my Esper power to activate Bang. Bang. Um, Bang, which means... That, oh, Bang. Uh, oh, my God. Up. Okay, yeah. Yes, oh. sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, I am. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I remember. I'm. Oh, God. Okay. And now she has to, uh, every time she's, uh, uh, oh, she has to roll a charisma saving throw right now. Mm -hmm. With a DC of, what's the DC here? I don't, it doesn't say what the DC is, but um, I guess it's just, you know, a 10 is the break point, I guess. Right. Right, right, right. So, all right. So, boom. Mm-hmm. <laughs> charisma. Charisma? Okay, you know, yes, nope, sir. nope. Um, she fails. What's the effect? <laughs> <laughs> so the effect is that um, uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, what, until uh, she must now, uh, hang on, let me read it. Whenever a target fails to save and throw, makes an attack roll or saving throw before the spell ends, which is a minute from now, she must roll the D4 and subtract the number rolled from the attack roll to save and throw. Okay. Cool. And now, uh, you are up, Oni. <laughs> All right. Has she backed down or not? Huh? Has she backed down? Sierra? It's it's been six sec uh six twelve no it's been it, it's still within six seconds of pulling guns. So there's been a shot. Um, Toussaint has done some wacky technological shit or, or stuff around her brain, and now you're up. It's gotta, go time, bro. It's go time. I got to take two uh, two center mass shots. We got to get back to the ship. <laughs> I, I don't trust. I, I don't trust them because whoever she's talking about, they ain't nobody left back in the ship. Our ship is, you know, what I'm saying they outnumber the people in the ship. Yo, two center mass shots. Take her calm and just go. All right, do the um. Well, you can take one shot per round because that's that's your thing. So you're gonna squeeze the oh, trigger. Oh yeah, because it's a burst shot anyway, so it's sort of like a. Yeah, exactly. Right, cool. So, right, cool. um, go ahead. I'm rolling, and, what, a 20, a d20? Yep, you roll a d20. I... And for yours, I looked at your character sheet, add five. Um, then I have 14. All right, and roll a d6 for damage. I, uh, I got six. For real? Yeah. He's a for real. Like, uh, yeah. He's a killer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And so... Once they um, said they don't need us, man, I can't take no chances. <laughs> oh, I can't take no chances. So, okay. sure enough, um, yeah, you get the shot center mass, you knock her back. <clears throat> and sure enough, she takes out... Um, she takes... Um, she takes aim with her two auto pistols. And she takes a shot at the biggest threat, um, which is you, and the shot fires wide. <laughs> Round two. Because Bane sucks, boys and girls. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Well, real quick, let's explain to the audience what just happened. What that means with Bane, um, ladies and gentlemen who are watching, it is... Um, in Dungeons and Dragons, we would call it a spell effect. And essentially, since she failed um, to resist his influence, um, when he said, I will be the bane for you, um, first, I roll a four-sided die. And whatever I roll, I subtract that amount from the d20 roll. <laughs> so, um, so, in a nutshell... Um, I rolled a five on the D twenty. Yay. The five. Now I get a plus three to hit, but five on the D twenty and on the D four I rolled a three. So the math involved was um <clears throat> five plus three um with the light pistol, so equals eight. However, minus three. So I rolled a five to hit someone whose armor class or to hit is 15. 
I was 10 short <coughs> because a die roll plus uh, a die roll plus a curse sucks. Back to <laughs> back to the show. All right. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Top of the round. <laughs> um, Roja? Mm-hmm. I want you to remember you have prime talents as well. <laughs> I forgot. I still have command, don't I? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> and laser blast and uh, a few other things. Okay. I'm going to try using command on her. Okay. And basically I'm going to like, drop, drop your weapons. <clears throat> okay. So, if I remember command correctly, as I'm looking it up here, um, command is, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh-huh, yeah, 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 target, mo okay, yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. You speak one word to a creature you can do, one action, um, yes, 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 yes. This is, okay. Um, so what is your, um, what is your talent save DC, i.e. 10, uh, eight plus your, um, eight plus your prime talent, um, skill thing. So you are a sorcerer or sorry, you are, um, a cybermancer, which mm -hmm. would make it your, is it your charisma? It might I thought it was be. Wisdom. Thank you. Yeah, it is I your wisdom. So many different gaming systems in my head, boys and girls. I apologize. <laughs> uh, yeah. So that would be I'm eight plus your wisdom um, plus your proficiency bonus equals. Okay. Um, my uh, is my uh, my modifier is plus three. Mm hmm. Okay. So uh, plus five. Wisdom. Yeah. So that's eight plus five. Uh, okay. My target number is thirteen. Boy, that sucks. Okay. <laughs> yep, that really, really sucked because I had to make a wisdom save. Uh, bonus is plus zero. Roll to 12, and I have to subtract three <laughs> because Bane sucks. So she drops her weapons. Nice. It's my turn now, right? Hmm? Uh, right. Yes, I'm it gonna is. Use, I'm going to use my prime talent of Tricky Finger to get her weapon. Okay. I'm taking it. All right. So you, all right. Well, you pick up one because she's got two guns and Tricky Fingers okay, or Mage Hand is one hand. So you pick up one of them. Yeah, I'll pick up one of her guns. Okay. And, and do you, I have, do I have room? Because I was standing next to her. Do I have room as a bonus action to kick the other one? Um... You know what? I'm going to say yes. Just okay. make a quick so dex check. I'm going to take the farthest gun with tricky fingers. I'm going to kick the uh, other uh, gun out of range with my free foot. Okay. Um, just make a, make a dexterity check. Okay. Dexterity check is... 20. Uh, yeah. Matter of fact, when you... Um, you use tricky fingers on one hand, and just to add a little insult to injury, you do the back sweep kick, and then you kind of cartwheel up to um, up to a standing st up up to a standing point. Ooh, sexy, <laughs> Ooh. sexy. <laughs> okay, and you are up, Oni. She is now <laughs> unarmed. <laughs> <laughs> um, how far are we get? Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. I need to get back to the ship. Like, I mean, she's incapacitated. Well, no, let me tie her up first. Cause just because she dropped her weapons, I don't trust that. Okay. It's just either either we tie her up or I got to kill her. I don't trust her no more. Tie her up. It's your action. <laughs> it's your action. Do you make, have make a decision and execute it. Yeah, do, do you have, have anything? I don't think we got no rope. Did you bring your pack? Um... I don't think so, because it's probably on the ship. Okay, then you got no monofilament uh, wire. <laughs> all right, cool. Uh, I want a headshot, take a radio, let's get back to the ship. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, 
wait, wait. Go ahead and make a roll. <laughs> roll it. All right, what am I rolling? D20? A D20 at five. <laughs> All right, uh, that'll be seven. Uh, that'll be 16. All right, roll a D6 for damage. Uh, four. All right, so you take another shot, and she just coughs, and blood comes out of her face, and she falls down still. Cool, cool. I'm going to look at him like, is, is this the way this whole mission is going to go? Is this what we're doing the whole time? You heard, the whole time? You heard the radio, just like I heard. Mm -hmm. They said we don't need them anymore. They are going to kill us. Our mission now is to kill all of them before they can kill all of us. That's it. Okay. Then let's talk this through because if I can get close enough to all of them without any of you in the way, I can generate an area effect to knock a lot of people on their butt. That will make them easier to kill if that's what we have to do. do cool. Is that fair? Okay. All right. Let's move so fast before they know she's dead. Let me go out there and charm first, be right behind me, and start shooting people. Okay? Got you. Is that cool? Is that cool with you, uh, my technological friend? Mm -hmm. It is. Is my is my spider still still being made? Hmm? Oh. Is my spider still oh, being made? I'm glad that you asked. Matter the of fact, you're all about right now. Yes, yes, they are. All four of them. Ooh. We got four. What for each of us? Are, are they under control? I'd like you to make a computer check, <laughs> or actually a mechanics oh. check. Okay, I have a thirteen mechanics check. I, I was talking to Rosia, but okay, oh, no, thir <laughs> um, and Rosia, go ahead and make yours. Would you like to make okay. one too, Oni? I got eighteen. Oni, would you like to make a one of those checks? Alright, hold up. Mine is. And what am I adding to the D20? I forgot. Uh, the D20 plus, um, do you have the mechanic skill? Mechanics. No, I don't have it. All right. Um, then you would just. So just a D20? A D20 plus your intelligence. I, the, uh, 17. Seriously? Yeah. I rolled a 16 <laughs> and I got a. Okay. Make a note on your character no, no. sheets. Tucson, one. Oni, one. Rosia, two. So I got, I got an attack robot. They look, um, they, each one of them kind of comes to your feet. Voice command, riddle. How, how big is it? Hmm? How um, big is it? let me check the page. Oh man, if we can ride them, that'll be so cool. <laughs> yo, yo, okay. Please tell me that my spider droid looks like uh, the um, Tachi Comas from Ghost in the Shell. Because then I can ride it and it can also shoot and it can like do all kinds of cool. Yes. If do 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 do. Well, uh, that was page what? That was page... And where do I make this note at? That's interesting. Hmm? I think it's under equipment uh, on your sheet. Is that right? Uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, it would be All equipment right. or special stuff on the bottom. All right. And then you'll tell me what, what the attack roll is on it so I can put that in uh, next to that. Uh, yeah, matter of fact, I'm going to um, I'm gonna send you guys uh, Ooh, cool. the stat block for this guy. Stat block. Yeah. <laughs> you get stat yeah. block. Yeah. Got a spider droid. Ah, uh, yes. There we Why, go. Thank page you, seventy-one. Rosa. All right, thread database, page seventy-one. I, I take back everything negative I said, and my spider is named Miles. <laughs> <laughs> Miles. <laughs> thread database, page seventy-one. All right, cool. Uh huh. Uh huh. So yeah. All right. So boop boop boop. Just get into the thing. Uh, yeah, totally just get into the thing, and, <laughs> oh my god, I cannot believe the direction that this just went. <laughs> um, this wasn't my plan. <laughs> <laughs>
All right. So page oh, seventy-one. Oh, oh. Yes. Uh, my, 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 okay, so how about this? Now that we've got four spider droids, mm -hmm. here's the plan. I'm going to go out there. I'm going to try and charm them. I'm going to like, start talking, and then the spider droids come out. I'm like, oh, no, spider droids. What are we going <laughs> to And then I'm going to thunder wave them, and we're all going to attack. Cool. I'm down that with that. That sounds really cool. <laughs> I'm definitely okay. down with one, of my specialties, one of my specialties is lying. <laughs> not to you, though. Not to you. Never to you. Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold up. Let us... All right. Let us um, get you guys some of that. <clears throat> Let me get you guys some of that action. And just for the audience's sake, I'm going... Yeah, I haven't forgotten that you guys are there. Um, I'm actually going to show you guys um, what these things look like. Because, <laughs> you know... You got to have fun, right? Um, just got to, ah, that's where I put that. And now we are going here and boom and there, boom and desktop. Here you go. Done. There you guys go. You have the stat block now. And cool, cool. cool. From a people, um, there we are. Oh my now, God. <laughs> and that is not right at all. From a people, yeah, that's what we're looking at. Um, ooh, yeah. Okay, that, okay, okay. That does not okay. look good. So, boom. Wait, it's large, so I could ride something large, right? Yes. <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> oh, so we can ride these things. Oh my God. Yes, yes, you can ride. All right, them. Cool. That and those are the yet, things that we're attacking the ship. Not yet. Not, not yet. until we do the play. Not until we do the play. <laughs> but I am, I am changing the name of mine just so just so I know. No. <laughs> now that okay. I see what it looks like, yeah, I need a I need a more I, menacing name. I'm sticking with my name. I haven't chosen mine yet. Mine will now be known as Anansi. Okay. I I'm like not going to be mad at that. I don't like it. Yeah. I'm not going to be mad at that. <laughs> and these things are super cool, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> the captain's going to be so mad trying to get these on the ship. <laughs> not really. They can, like, they can, like, probably fold their arms or something and just scoot them in there. I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, All right. So... Yep. So we've got the plan. We are all agreed on the plan this time, okay? Yep. Yep. Okay. Can we, can, we signal back, hmm? can we signal back to our friends at the ship, one, like not the captain, one of the other ones, to let them know quietly that this is about to happen? Uh, you can give it a shot. And when you say your friends at the ship, you mean... Um, um, Anybody you, that's not the captain. Um, no, you can't. The comms are actually, once you start talking to the captain, there's no private page. Okay. Um, can people out, can people who are not in our crew hear the comms? Um, people that aren't in your crew? Yes. Are they in the ear or are they like out loud like a Star Trek? Uh, no, they're, um, it, it's essentially, um, they all have their own comms on that. So <clears throat> it, it's not on a loudspeaker. Okay, then I'm. I need to get on comms to say to the captain and say, I'm sorry to tell you that their XO just drew down on our tech and tried to kill us. We are coming back to the ship because we believe we are under attack and ready to uh, do something about it. And the captain comes comes back. Oh, you think? Um, do not come back. I repeat, do not come back. Confirm. We will hold position, and we have reinforcements. Negative. Find the other Bellare. <laughs> Confirm. Thank you. Okay. okay. Guys, we have our marching order now. The captain wants us to find the, the kid. All right. Got to find okay. the kid. Got to find baby well, Ultron. Okay. Hey, did you say you saw another light like the light that you saw where you found the Bellare? Yeah, there were... There were you know, multiple flickering lights. 
and you lead us to that other life. Sure. Um, All right, make a, hop on your spider. Make a lore spider, roll. Right. Yeah, make a oh. lore. Uh, I want you to make a lore roll. Um, Me? Mike. Yeah, make a lore. All right, D20. Yeah, D20. I, it's 14 plus. Okay. Um, that's Five. okay. So 19? With, with, yeah, with what you got. Um, all of the lights that you saw back in room 2C was from the Bellare that you took back to the ship. Mm-hmm. Okay. Lore okay. is kind of memory. Okay. So then in that case, I mean, I guess that's the best place to start because it's essentially we're starting from where the Bellare that we got assumedly finished their search. Maybe. Then before we go on, before we go on, since we just made these killer spiders, could we yep. stop anybody else from making killer spiders? Um, oh. which, what's, uh, what's your intelligence score? My intelligence score, and I was actually asking that of our tech friend, but uh, my intelligence score is, oh. go to PDFs. Oh, shoot, that's the wrong app. Wait a minute. Uh, uh, if PDF. you were asking Roja, uh, Roja? Yes. Uh, make a quick, um, make a quick um, mechanics roll. Yep. 19 My intelligence is fourteen. Plus one is 20. okay. <clears throat> um, Roja, at nineteen, you know, um, you have a few options to make sure that this machine doesn't do it again. You can program it with a safe with a safety password um, that you and whoever else knows. And what was what was yours, Toussaint? Uh, 14. All right. Um, at 14, um, it is definitely possible to reprogram this, but you have no idea how. And okay. if bad comes to worse, you can always break the damn thing. All right. Could you, how long, Rosa, would, how long would it take you to put a password that only you know, that I don't know, that he doesn't know, that only you know, that nobody else could use? And... How long do you think it would take for the password to be broken if someone would be able to break it? Because if it's able to be broken in we any short it. amount of time, say within 30 minutes or so, I say we break it. I'm just going to start shooting the console. No, no one's going to the password. <laughs> <laughs> Password. Blam, 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 blam. <laughs> <laughs> Boring conversation. Anyway. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> so I'm now riding the spider. Okay. Mm -hmm. And of course, um, so I'm guessing you guys are heading over to room 2F. Yep. Yeah, we got to gotta pick up the search. Okay. And with that, I'm going to say thank you guys so much for tuning in if you guys want to know what happens you are going to have to tune in to our next session <laughs> um oh. you can always find us at twitch.tv yes. <laughs> slash bid underscore <laughs> um underscore p um i want to thank everybody that has shown up tonight major props to victor dandridge major props to quinn mcgowan and of course um hannibal tau michael young and of course our always returning warp tumbler shitaz um Shit <laughs> i cannot say your name properly shitaja martin tasia <laughs> tasia like all right like fantasia but a shade tasia yeah um thank you guys <laughs> thank you guys for showing up uh where can they find you guys <laughs> yeah where can they find you guys uh which one ladies first hmm? oh well you can find me on facebook shatasia marks mm -hmm. cool. that's uh, it <laughs> you i'll let mike go because it's youth before beauty <laughs> 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 N E I D S O U L, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube is the main hub. Hip Hop and Geek put it together. Have a good time. <laughs> and of course, can, Mr. Taboo. You, you can find me at HannibalTaboo.com and on uh, you'll find you, the tag Hannibal Taboo, H A N N I B A L T A B U on Facebook, Instagram, Tumblr, Twitter, Plurk, Hieroglyphics, radio, radio Waves Coming from the Sun, or wherever you want to be. <laughs> Prinster. <laughs> And of course, guys. There too. And of course, guys, you can always find us. That's right. The music is coming up. It's literally like looking at us saying, wrap it up, bro. Wrap it up. <laughs>
because we have been here for just a little bit. But again, um, I want to thank you guys for showing up. Major shout outs to the chat. Uh, major shout out to our to our um, royalty tier from our Patreon being Queen Shannon Boom Boom Lay, Queen Quinn Merrill, um, His Majesty King um, Paul D. Mansfield, and of course our ace in the hole, Jennifer Kroll. If you guys are interested in seeing more or got any questions or comment about esper genesis from alligator alley games which is what we are playing it is awesome it is fun it is based on based on fifth edition dungeons and dragons um for those of us that like sci-fi and space we are loving all that stuff and if you got any questions or comments or suggestions or any of those things feel free to hit us up at backinthedeck at gmail.com. That's B-A-C-K-I-N-T-H-E-D-E-C-K at gmail.com. You can also um, find all of us stuff. If you guys are watching on YouTube, um, like, subscribe, share all this stuff. And if you don't like what you cite, what you see or what you saw, and if you didn't have fun with this, then subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that you guys can come in saying, I can't believe you guys are doing all this stuff. Oh, God, look at all this this you know show it to your family show it to your friends to show that we are not doing all those things um also i do want to let you guys know that the youtube channel is not monetized because i don't want to play the youtube game so the major way that we keep the lights on over here is by asking you guys to think about this if you got more entertainment and more value out of what you saw here and what you see on our shows monday tuesday wednesday and thursday um then you would normally pay for a refill of coffee at one of the old places in the before four times. Ah, then head over to patreon.com slash BID underscore P and you will be able to see our Patreon where for less than a dollar a month, just a dollar. Now I'm letting you guys know it is still the time of COVID and <clears throat> the Rona has made it so a lot of people can't work. So if you can't spare a dollar a month, I don't want it. Feed your family, buy your toilet paper, and let me know if you come across 91% isopropyl alcohol because <laughs> um, we could definitely use some for our merch. Um, but if you guys can spare it, then sign up for as little as a dollar a month. It is the only way to suggest um an episode and stuff like that and of course we've got really cool incentives and gifts and stuff that we send out like stickers and and keychains and all that stuff all made in-house here at back in the deck studios and once you hit our nobility tier which is 20 dollars or more we give you a shout out in every episode of everything that we do also if you want to talk about some of the cool stuff look if you guys are horror fans we got dice rollers this cthulhu can be yours at the 50 dollars a month tier or higher or my personal favorite our angel of perpetual botching here you go yeah take a good look Ooh. Ooh. all of these things are made in-house and they are yours along with other incentives like keychains and all that other stuff and the money goes to keeping the lights on and paying for materials for the stuff that we use to put these gaming clubs together at community centers and disenfranchised areas from the ghetto to the trailer park so with that, I'm going to say thank you guys for showing up. You guys are just killing me with all of your awesomeness. And if anybody, anybody at all, tells you that you are not welcomed at the table because of your circumstances of birth, be it race, religion, creed, gender identity, sexual orientation, your disability, or your budget, you tell them that we said to take those cards and put them back in the deck. This is Solar Gray, the Cinematic Sorcerer, saying thank you guys for joining us on Warp Tumblr's Dark Matter. We will see you guys next time. <laughs> oh. Wrong one. Uh, wrong button. We always do that wrong button. Yeah, we will see you guys next time on Warp Tumblr's Dark Matter. Are we wrapped?